Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Hyden, Kentucky, here at Leslie County High School, the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center, home of Coach Wendell Wilson Court for the opening round of the Boys 54th District Basketball Tournament. I'm Jeff Campbell, along with Coach Randy Napier. We'll be bringing you all the action tonight, Coach. Uh, game number one, we've got the Buckhorn Wildcats taking on the Bulldogs of Hazard, and, uh, you know, he, he, it's a – Understanding, and we always say that the, the regular season means nothing. Is, is both of these teams sort of starting over tonight? Buckhorn uh, going to be the underdog, but uh, you know they're going to come out. They're going to fight hard, and, and we've seen in this postseason anything can happen. Yeah, we've already seen some upsets uh, uh, in the mountains, and and uh, and this game, uh, uh, you know, the Bulldogs uh, are going to be uh, decided. Uh, uh, favorites in a game like this, they're going to be uh, uh, they're going to be the favorite uh, in in every game they play in this region, probably uh, at this point. But Buckhorn uh, is well known uh, for coming out and and coming up with big efforts, and I think they're capable of that. Uh, should be should be a good first ball game. Uh, uh, should be uh, uh, these both these first round games should be good ones. Going to be a good crowd on hand tonight. A lot of people already filing in the gymnasium here, but. If you're not going to make it, uh, tune us in. We're on 97.9 WZQQ. You can also check us out on WSGS.com or on WSGS Facebook or WSGS on YouTube. Uh, I was at home last night, watched the broadcast. Nathan Little and John Newell brought the the girls' action to us. Watch that on YouTube. Perry Central uh, had had a win over Buckhorn and Hazard beat Leslie County. So tomorrow night – uh, the girls' championship, it'll be uh, Hazard and Perry County Central. Uh, but we've got the boys on hand tonight, Hazard and Buckhorn coming up first. We're about 19 minutes away from tip-off. We'll send it back for a first commercial break. When we come back, Coach Napier will go out and have try to have a word with the coaches right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. First Trust Bank now has instant issue debit cards. If your debit card is lost or stolen, has a damaged strip or chip, we can replace it quickly and get you back to your busy life in an instant. Nobody can afford to wait 7 to 10 days for a new debit card, and now you don't have to with First Trust Bank's instant issue debit cards. A quick solution to our customers' needs is another reason to look at us first for a bank you can trust. First Trust Bank, member FDIC. Terms and conditions apply. Instant issue subject to customer eligibility requirements. When times are at their worst, Couch and Fugit attorneys at law are at their best. Couch and Fugit can help with bankruptcy, foreclosures, medical debt, credit card bills, repossessions, and tax issues. Bankruptcy, Chapter 7 and 13. Plus, they offer free consultation. Couch and Fugit attorneys at law with offices on Main Street in Hyden and 310 West 5th Street in London. You can visit online at couchandfugit.com or on Facebook. Couch and Fugit, attorneys at law, 672-7300. Nothing goes along better with sports than pizza, and nobody does pizza like Papa John's. Open till 11 p.m. weekdays and until midnight on the weekends. Don't feel like going out? It's not a problem with Papa John's. Call your order in at 439-2332 or place your order online at papajohns.com, and they deliver. Right now, get one large pizza with up to five toppings or a specialty pizza online. Just use promo code 1799-ANY. Papa John's Pizza in a class of its own, located on Highway 15 North in Hazard. Perry Vinyl and Metal Sales is located on the Combs Road in the former 84 Lumber Company. Come and see their huge selection of mobile home parts, including doors, windows, roofing, guttering, and more. You might want to consider using your 2023 tax refund for a new roof, new windows, or new doors. Or maybe you need mobile home parts. Perry Vinyl and Metal Sales. Come say hi to their friendly to work with staff. Open Monday through Friday, 8 till 5. Call for more information, 435-7639. Perry Vinyl and Metal Sales on the Combs Road. Welcome back once again, folks, to Leslie County High School here at the Nixon Center for tonight's opening round of the Boys 54th District Tournament. Buckhorn, the Wildcats taking on the Bulldogs of Hazard. We'll try to find Coach Napier. He's down on the court trying to get a word with both head coaches. He's got the head coach of the Hazard Bulldogs, Coach Al Holland. <laughs> Take it away, Coach. All right, we're back courtside here with Coach Al Holland. Coach, you bid, you bid one or two of these. You know, it, it never changes. Uh, I know it didn't for me uh, all those years, and I know you well enough to know it's, it's still exciting, isn't it? It is, you know. Randy. Yeah, it is. 
because it's just a, it's just it's a fun time. Uh, if you love basketball, or if you uh, if you're a coach or a fan or anything else, it's just a fun time. Everybody healthy and ready to go. Yeah, everybody's pretty good shape. Uh, Evan Evans always have a little bit of a back issue, but uh, uh, got a little bit of therapy on the last couple of days, so that helps some. So uh, he's so important to our team. We've we got to keep him healthy. Yeah, you, you faced Buckhorn a couple of times. Uh, one of them was uh, a little tougher and uh, a little uh, a little bit of a tense affair, uh, but the score came out the same. You guys pulled away at the end. Coach Blank's doing a good job with his basketball team. They've got better as the year went on, and the niece kid is an outstanding player. Uh, he's such an offensive weapon. He put up 30 on you any night. He had 30, 32 against us a couple years ago. I think as a sophomore, so we got out of the report for him. Uh, they've got a well-balanced team, and, and they've improved as the year went on, so it's important for us to play well. Yeah, you want to get off to a good start in tournament play, and I know, you, I know you're ready to go. We'll wish you the best luck tonight, man. Get after it. Thank you. Appreciate you, Coach. All right. So Coach Napier now is going to try to find Coach Shannon Blank to get a word with the head coach of the Buckhorn Wildcats. And bringing Shannon Blank over here whenever you're ready. With Shannon Blank, Coach, exciting time, uh, tournament time. Uh, for, ba for us basketball guys, this is what it's all about, tournament time, is, isn't it? Oh, for sure. The season doesn't really start until today. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you can race all the records, all the good nights and all the bad nights. Now it's just one team going up against what? Everybody healthy and ready to go? Yeah, everybody's healthy and ready to go. We've had a lot of rest. Hopefully we're able to play at full potential. That's, we've not done that just, but we've been beat, banged up, and tired most of the season. It's, uh, there's always those periods in a season where you just, you're not where you want to be. But uh, you got to feel pretty good about your team. You all have improved all year long. That's what I like to see. Yeah, we improved a step, and I didn't really take scheduling light. That way we can improve on the things that I know we need to improve on to get in the postseason. That's because it's what matters. Yeah, yeah, that's what you've worked for. But listen, uh, good luck tonight. Hope, hope you can hang in there and get one. Yeah, thank you. There you have it, folks. Coach Randy Napier, the word from both head coaches. And we will step away for another commercial break. When we come back, we'll have some pregame stats and analysis right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. At TVS, we've been working hard preparing for the future. Well, the future is now. TVS offers digital cable, digital phone service, high-speed internet, and a fiber optic infrastructure. We're a local company putting money back into our local economy while supporting our local schools and organizations. What about those other guys? You know, those big out-of-town companies. What have they done for you lately? Mountain people serving mountain people. TVS, 606-439-3167. Primary Care Centers of Eastern Kentucky would like to welcome Dr. Ramon Thomas to our team. Dr. Thomas is a board-certified OBGYN with 14 years experience. He will be working in our hazard location and taking new patients. We will have a full array of services to offer. Call today at 606-439-1300. Primary Care Centers of Eastern Kentucky, focusing on your family's health. Having electric motor problems? Then you, my friend, need to call Maggard Electric. Located on Highway 15, six miles north of Hazard, Maggard Electric has over 300 electric motors in stock, and their EASA-approved staff has more than 30 years' experience in electric motor repair. Swimming pool motors and complete pumps, motor for air compressors, heat pumps, furnaces, and air conditioners. At Maggard Electric, they have it, or they'll get it at the best price. Maggard Electric, serving Perry and surrounding counties. Highway 15, north of Hazard, 436-6886. With the Perry County Public Library card, you can check out books, movies, magazines, ebooks, as well as use their online databases that allow you to take online classes, repair your auto, or research your family history. Visit the library at 289 Black Gold Boulevard, Hazard, Kentucky. Call them at 606 436 2475 or visit their website, perrycountylibrary.org, for more information. The Perry County Public Library, your source for information, education, and entertainment. Welcome back once again, folks, to Leslie County High School here at the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center for opening nine of the boys' 54th district tournament as Buckhorn will be taking on Hazard here in game one. Jeff Campbell 
Randy Napier bringing you all the action. Coach, you just interviewed both coaches. What stands out to you? Oh, well, uh, they both seem to be relaxed and, and but eager to get going, and, and that's what you want to see. You know, they uh, they tell me that, that their players are healthy and ready, and that's all they can – all you can ask for at a time like this going into the into tournament time is just have have everybody available to you and, and, uh, and the kids ready to get out there and compete. And, uh, you know, just – Looking around here, Jeff, I, it brings back good memories for me, and I know it has for you too. We we uh, we had a lot of success in this gym when you, you and I were coaching, and, and won some district, several district tournaments here, and then won a big regional tournament while you were helping me uh, yeah. in this gym. And it uh, fond memories here. And, uh, you know, got uh, got uh, the, they got the place looking good, new scoreboards, uh, it's brightened up in here, and the, and the gym looks good. Uh, they, uh, Leslie County's doing a good job holding the tournament, so I think we're ready for another fun night. It, 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 you're right, Coach. It does bring back a lot of those those fond memories. And, uh, you know, at this gym, uh, you know, my junior year, Buckhorn beat us here out of the district tournament. So, you know, as a, a coach for the boys and the girls teams at Perry Central, I was able to erase some of those fond memories uh, or, or not so fond memories yeah. with, with some much fonder memories. But, you know, when you take a look at Buckhorn, everybody across the region, you know, you heard Coach Holland, he's very complimentary of Coach Shannon Blank and the job he's done at Buckhorn. And he's come out and he's scheduled 30 games. They're 8-22. and 22. I know he would want more – you know, wins in that win column, but he's really challenged his team. Uh, they've stepped up to the challenge, and and you know, the, I think he does has tried to set his team up for a chance at an upset tonight here at Hazard. Yeah, and and, and you know, watching them play this year, the one thing that I liked, uh, I liked seeing out of them was they never gave up, even when things were tough and they weren't having a lot of success at different times in the season. You never saw uh, one bit of quit in the Buckhorn Wildcats, and I don't think you ever will with with Coach uh, with Coach Blank and, and his staff. I think they're gonna they're gonna have them ready. And you know, Coach Holland's coming in here. You know he's got a he's got one of the better teams in 14th region for sure, and uh, maybe one of the best teams in the mountain. I, I think you're right. You know on, on both accounts, Buckhorn. Uh, you know a lot of hope. They wanna they wanna try to get back to this regional tournament. It's been six years. Uh, since Buckhorns made it to the regional tournament, um, Hazard obviously won the district last year, so no stranger to you know Coach I. Holland and the Bulldogs to be in a, a situation tonight where they they want to get out early and get in the driver's seat. Looking at some of the players first for Buckhorn, you heard Coach Holland mention uh, their fantastic point guard Hayden Neese. He's coming in averaging 15.6 uh, points a game, four rebounds a game, and shooting 70 percent from the free throw line. So. You know, if you're Hazard, you really got to know where Hayden Neese is and try to contain him the best you can. And Hayden is one of those guys, if he gets going, he goes from good to great. He's just one of those guys that when he gets that feeling about him, he can he can pile up points on you. And for Hazard, you know, they're led by a couple different guys in scoring. Obviously, Evan Everso sort of steers the ship for the Bulldogs, uh, 21.4 points a game. Seth Cottle right at 18 uh, points a game. And, and those two guys have had a, a really fantastic year for Coach Holland. And, uh, you know, we, we sit here as, as, you know, coaches, and we miss that coaching. But I'm really glad that I'm not trying to figure out how to slow down uh, – Seth and Evan tonight because they're just fantastic scorers for they multiple are. levels. They've been a load uh, all year long. Uh, uh, I've had a lot of their games on radio, and and uh, and they uh, they like you said, they have carried the load for the Bulldogs. Other kids have, have come to on certain nights and had big games, but those two guys have kind of been the leaders of the pack all year long, and uh, and uh, I don't expect anything different out of them tonight. Hazard, uh, looking at some of their team stats, and this is something that you and I, I know was a big focus of yours, Coach, when you coached, uh, field goal percentage. They're shooting 51% from the field, and a lot of that goes to, you know, to, to their players like Evan Chan and, and Seth Cottle. But then you take big Kenyon Higgins. If they miss, he's there to grab that rebound and, and, and get it to another score. And that's yeah. one of the reasons that that field goal percentage is so high is they're shooting from point blank range. Yeah, their supporting their supporting cast has really been good for them this year. Uh, whenever whenever teams are doubling up on 
on Seth's call. We're trying to take those jump shots away, and they're helping down low on, on Everett Eversole. Those other guys have come up and hit big shots, and that's why that's why they won 24 ball games. You're exactly right. Hazard, uh, like I said, shooting 51.3% from the field, 36% from the three-point line, nearly 73% from the free throw line. That's one of the highest yeah, uh, in the I, district I, and the I region. I was going to mention that. that you know, tournament play – Teams that are that are good free throw shooters usually win at just plain and simple. And you know, it gets tough, but if if you've been making them all year long, you're probably gonna make them in tournament time. Well you've got all the confidence in the world. It's one of those situations where you, you wanna get fouled. You know, I was always a a, a pretty good shooter in in in, in in game situation. I thought that was a way for me just to sort of rack up more points. Yeah. Uh, just give me the ball. You were you were like that. Now, me, on the other hand, <laughs> I was trying to sneak a tip in, in every now and then, hoping I didn't have to go to the foul line because I wasn't going to make that many. Hazard comes in scoring 65 points a game and only giving up 44.8 points a game. Buckhorn, uh, 40.1% from the field, 27% from behind the arc, 62% uh, from the free throw line. And, and you have – when you look at the individual statistics for Buckhorn and the free throw line, you have some guys that are really shooting that high percentage and others, uh, you know, not so much, and that brings that average down. Yeah, yeah, it does. And, they, and they, uh, you know, that's one of those areas that, that they have struggled with a little bit this year. And, and uh, you know, uh, I, Hazard's going to come out and play that good, solid, strong man-to-man defense. And they've got some length about them uh, across the board. Their guards are, are have some good size about them, and uh, they present some problems for uh, for the Wildcats because Buckhorn doesn't have that overall team size that they can get uh, they can get easy looks at the basket uh, the way Hazard can actually. Buckhorn comes in scoring 54 points per game and giving up 65.6. As Coach Napier mentioned earlier, these two two teams have already met twice uh, this season. Hazard won both of those on December 4th. The Bulldogs were victorious by a score of 63-27. to 27. And on January the 24th, that was the one you were talking, Coach. It was a little spirited. It was <laughs> yeah. it was close early on. But the Bulldogs come away uh, with a 67-38 to 38 victory uh, over Buckhorn. And if you're Buckhorn, the first quarter, quarter and a half of that game on January 24th, they got to give you a little hope going into this one. Yeah, they were right there and, uh, and, and played really well. I thought defensively, they did as good a job on Seth Caudill in the first half of that ball game as anybody has all year long because he's he's been tough for everybody to guard. And that night in particular, they did a great job on him. And uh, if they can match that effort, uh, it certainly it certainly gives them an opportunity to stay in this thing and have a chance. And we are about three minutes away from tip-off. When we come back, we'll have a look at the starting lineups and get ready for tip-off. Here in game number one of tonight's Boys 54th District Tournament right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. There's love in every connection at Appalachian Wireless. Even if you want to connect with no credit check, no contracts, and most features are postpaid. Talking about forward pay, the simple, easy way to connect. And this month, get $50 off select prepaid devices and plans starting as low as $19.99 per month for unlimited talk and text. At 5 gig of data for only $29.99 per month. At 10 gig of data for only $39.99 per month. How about unlimited data for only $64.99 per month with 25 gig of high speed data before slowing down? It's forward pay because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. If your sink won't drain, just like it should, who you gonna call? Potomac! If your toilet's clogged and it don't smell good, who can you call? Potomac! Call 233-5936. Call 233-5936. You better call Top. Introducing Fazoli's new stuffed shell. Jumbo pasta shell stuffed with four Italian cheeses, smothered in our signature sauces, then topped with mozzarella and baked in bubbly perfection. Try our garlic shrimp stuffed shells topped with plump shrimp marinated in a delicious garlic parmesan sauce. Our four cheese shells packed with your favorite Italian cheeses, parmesan, ricotta, mozzarella, and romano. Or our stuffed shell duo paired with baked fettuccine alfredo. Enjoy our stuffed shells with our signature garlic breadsticks today. Only at Fazoli's. Limited time only. Price and participation may vary by location. Unlimited breadsticks. Dining on not included. Fazoli's and logo are federally registered trademarks of Fazoli System Management, LLC. 
Don't spend another minute suffering from pain. Let the staff at Fugit Family Chiropractic provide you with the leading edge technology and proven techniques for optimum pain relief and minimal recovery time. If you suffer from chronic neck or lower back pain, headaches, herniated or bulging discs, or even degenerative disc disease, let our highly knowledgeable and experienced team help you. Fugit Family Chiropractic in Hazard and Whitesburg. No referral needed and walk-ins are welcome. Back once again to Leslie County High School here at the Nixon Recreation Center for game number one of our doubleheader tonight between the Hazard Bulldogs and the Buckhorn Wildcats. Hazard will be the home team tonight wearing the home whites as they earn the number one seed in the 54th District Tournament. Buckhorn will be visitors as they were the number four seed. And the first time, Coach, that we've done this seeding thing in the 54th District Tournament, and uh, I, I, I've not heard a whole lot of complaints. No, it's it's been uneventful. And, uh, you know, I was always a firm believer that the best teams are going to show up on championship night. And irregardless of the method that you use to get there, those best teams, the cream will rise to the top. And, uh, and it um, – but, you know, that's high school basketball's got that one element of surprise there, you know, that anybody can beat anybody on a given night. That's right. And as we get ready for the national anthem and the pregame prayer festivities here at Leslie County High School, we'll send it back to the station for another commercial break. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups for you and the opening tip right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Your hometown's where you want to raise your family. For Tanner Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, here's Daryl Billings. 0% financing for up to 72 months. Huge rebates, great trade-in allowances, and accommodating friendly service is what we're all about at Tanner Dodge in Stanton. We'll go the extra mile to get you the best deal possible and make your buying experience positive. Over 83% of the people we have sold to in the past few years have returned to buy from us again. Come see why. You'll be glad you did. Come on to see Tanner Dodge Chrysler Jeep. For nearly 60 years, LKLP Community Action has been helping improve the lives of those in need throughout our communities. With programs and services that assist people of all ages, LKLP works to empower people, improve quality of life, and combat poverty. From transportation, education, and workforce support to assistance with family advocacy, home energy, safety, and more, LKLP is your go-to community partner. Find your county outreach office at www.lklp.org. again folks to Leslie County High School is prayer and the anthem of outstanding job tonight by the folks here at Leslie County High School and now for the visitors on send the it over to the PA for okay. the starting lineup. At guard of five foot eleven junior number twelve Austin Riley. At guard, a 5'10", senior, number two, Braden Williams. At guard, a 5'10", senior, number zero, Hayden Neese. 
Head forward, a six foot one sophomore, number 24, Jacob Neese. And at center, a six foot three senior, number 22, Jesse Cole. The Wildcats are coached by Shannon Blank. And now for the home team on the scoreboard, the Hazard Bulldogs. At guard, a six foot two sophomore, number two, Dalton Combs. At guard, a six foot sophomore, number 13, Seth Cottle. At guard, a six foot three junior, number four, Nick Ratliff. At forward, a six four and a half junior, number five, Evan Eversole. And at forward, a Foot four, junior number 40, Kenyon Higgins. The Bulldogs are coached by Al Holland. The officials for tonight's game are Tim Trent, Ralph Fugit, and Brian Johnson. There you have it, folks. Starters for tonight have been announced. For Buckhorn, it'll be Jacob Neese, Jesse Cole, Austin Riley, Braden Williams, and their leading scorer, Hayden Neese. And for the Bulldogs, it'll be Kenyon Higgins, Nick Ratliff, Dalton Combs, Seth Cottle, and the leading score for Hazard, Ever and Ever Soul. And, uh, Coach, it's time to uh, kick the tires and light the fire, so to speak. Let's That's go. That's it, baby. Yeah, it's, it is game time now. Jumping center for Hazard will be Nick Ratliff. And for Buckhorn, Jacob Neese. And official Brian Johnson steps in a circle, one dribble, blows the whistle, tosses the ball in the air, and we're underway here in the boys' 54th district tournament. Tip controlled by Hazard. Buckhorn back in a 1 2 2 zone. I was going to say Buckhorn starting out in that same sagging uh, uh, 1 2 2 point guard drop that they used against Hazard uh, in the January 24th game, and they had some success in that defense. Hazard being patient with it. Nick Ratliff lets a long three pointer fly, re- bounces off, no good. Rebound pulled down by Higgins, kicks it to Eversole. Bodies on the ground, comes out of there, controlled by Buckhorn. Hayden East with it for the we Wildcats. Had our first scrum of the that game. Might have been. <laughs> Hayden East straight down the lane, puts it in. Buckhorn strikes first. They lead two to zero. That's one thing. It's a good start if you're Buckhorn. You get a stop, you get a score. Yeah. Cottle with it over on the left wing. Nearly loses it. On the dribble, kicks it over to Ratliff. Deep in the right corner now down the low block to Everso. Everso puts it up. No good. Gets his own rebound up and puts it in. Evan Everso, two points down low. Evan's hard to handle when he gets in that deep. Well, he's so big and strong. You miss, he misses the first one, but he's in great position for the offensive rebound and a putback. Nice with it. Gets it over to Jacob Nice. Working on Eversole. Trying to get it on the right wing to Williams. Now deep in the right corner to Cole. Back up top to Riley. Hazard in that, that, that good, strong man-to-man defense that they've used all year long. And they help well out of it, and uh, and they, they defend pass the lane. And, and they can switch out of it. Hazard's got a lot of – their kids are about the same size. If you need to, they can switch and, and not get burned too badly as Hayden East has it deep in the right corner. Still being guarded by Nick Ratliff. Coach Shannon Blank over here calling out the plays. Nice with it. A little hesitation dribble. Backs up. Shot fake. Puts it up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Braden Williams, long three-pointer from the left wing. No good. And the ball's going to go out of bounds. It'll belong to Hazard. Buckhorn got a couple of good looks that trip. Yeah, that's one of the things, you know, when you take a look at the anatomy of an upset, you got to be able to make some of those shots. Yeah. And, uh, but it's early. 5.45 left here in the first quarter. 2-2 two to two is our score. Hazard with a basketball. Cottle. Oh, deep in the right corner, Dalton Combs. The three-pointer's no good. Rebound pulled down by Buckhorn. Good look from Combs that time. Just couldn't get it to go. Ball was tipped out of bounds as Jacob Neese made his move to be Buckhorn basketball. And Jeff Buckhorn's clogging that lane area on the Bulldogs the way they did uh, in, the, in the previous game. And they're going to make it tough on Seth Cottle getting in there. Somebody's going to have to make some of those jumpers out there. Sometimes in tournament time, that rim tightens up until you get those first one, one or two to go. Absolutely. Hayden Neese with it out top. A little horn set. Got a screen each way. 
Trying to figure out which way he wants to go. Goes down the right side, kicks in the corner to Williams. Williams back to knees, turns it over. Nice steal by Ratliff. Nick Ratliff down the left side, puts up the layup up and in. Turnover for Buckhorn leads the two points for Hazard. Now, Nick, Nick Ratliff, some of those kids got some length about him. He gets out and passes the lanes, and when he picks it off, he's heading to the rim. Bulldogs on top, four to two. Nice down the lane, loses it, and steps called. Another Buckhorn turnover. Good help side defense by Hazard that time. Coach probably forced that turnover. Yeah, they collapsed into that lane and had help on either side, and he had nowhere to go. Hazard on top, four to two. Four minutes, 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. Opening night to the boys' 54th district tournament. Cottle with it in the right wing. Back to Ratliff. He'll let a three-pointer fly. Good. Nick Ratliff starting to feel it. Five points here early on. And he can do that. He's a good outside shooter. If he gets if, if he gets on a streak, that's really going to help the, ball, the, the Bulldog. Hazard on top, seven to two. Nice with it. Over to Jacob Nice. Back up top to Cole. Over to Williams. Back to Hayden Nice. Nice looking to go off the screen. Good help by Higgins. Now Nice with it. One on one being guarded by Ratliff. Ratliff's shoes untied. I don't think they're going to stop it for him as we don't have the basketball. No. Nice with a crossover. Hesitation. Crossover. Step back. Gives it up to Jacob Nice trying to drive. Gets it over to Cole. Deep in the right corner. Buckhorn's being patient on offense. Cole, or excuse me, Williams with it. Back to Hayden Neese. Buckhorn calling out play number one. Gets it to Jesse Cole. Higgins goes for the steal, doesn't get it. Cole gets it to Jacob Neese. Drives down the lane, pulls up in the paint. Puts it up and in. Nice finish by Jacob Neese. He got into the lane and just elevated up over top of everybody. Higgins went for that steal and didn't get it, and that opened up that driving lane for Jacob Neese, his first two of the night. Cottle with it, deep in the right corner. Now gives it to Dalton Combs, over to Higgins, left short corner. Back up top, Nick Ratliff, another three-pointers. Good. Give him eight. And eight points early on, and the referee's going to have a word with a couple players, but Hazard on top, 10-4, to 3-10 left here in the first quarter. Catching fire. He's got eight of the ten points for Hazard. Coach. Yeah, he looks very comfortable shooting the ball. Buckhorn basketball. Hayden East crosses the timeline. Picks up his dribble. Nowhere to go. Now he gets some help from his center, Jesse Cole. Cole back to Riley. Buckhorn really trying to run this flex offense. Get some movement. Riley down the lane. No shot. He's going to be fouled. The foul's going to be on Dalton Combs. It's his first. Buckhorn basketball underneath. 251 left here in the first quarter. We appreciate everybody tuning us in here tonight. Buckhorn nearly loses it. Riley gets it back over to Jacob Neese. Back to Austin Riley. Riley over to Hayden Neese. Long three-pointer right wing. Short rebound. Eversole of Hazard. Here comes the Bulldogs looking to run. Cottle with it. A little shake and bake. Gets to the left elbow over to Dalton Combs. He lets the three-pointer fly. It's good. His first three of the basket. And Shannon Blank and the Buckhorn Wildcats are going to take the time out to talk about it. We'll take it with them back after this break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. It should be easy to get health care you can trust close to home. That's exactly what UK Healthcare's North Fork Valley Community Health Center and Hazard is designed for. With a variety of services under one roof, from primary care to behavioral health, and an on-site pharmacy and lab to make it even more convenient for you. It's a provider that treats everyone regardless of ability to pay, all backed by the expertise of UK Healthcare. So you and your family can get healthy and stay healthy. Learn more at UKHealthcare.com slash hazard. At HydenCitizensBank.com, the bank never closes. You can check balances, transfer funds, and even pay all of your bills online. And best of all, it's free. Don't let your busy schedule keep you from getting your banking done. Do it online at HydenCitizensBank.com. And if you don't have an account, come in and see one of our friendly staff members at any of our four convenient locations. It's banking the way you want it, anytime, anyplace. At HydenCitizensBank.com, we're always open. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Welcome back, folks, to the opening night of the Boys' 54th District Tournament. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier, 
Uh, Coach Hazard off to a quick start here on top. Yeah, Jeff, if uh, if Dalton Combs and Nick Ratliff are able to, to uh, consistently shoot the ball the way they've started out tonight, Bulldogs will be hard to handle. Hazard on top, 13-4, to four, Buckhorn basketball. Hayden East with it. Hazard come out maybe in a little soft zone here. Just yeah, I think they are. Maybe catch Buckhorn off guard, a little 2-3 zone. Very atypical of what we've seen from Hazard this year. Yeah, they don't play a lot of zone. Nice with it out top, drives a lob up top to Jacob Nice. He puts it up, misses the shot, no good. Rebound controlled by Hazard, Seth Cottle. Here come the Bulldogs on the run. Cottle with it, down the paint, pulls up, 10-footer, good. Seth Cottle, coast to coast for his two of the game, first two of the game. Here comes Hayden Nice back in hurry, puts a shot up. He's fouled and will go to the free throw line. It's going to be on number four of Hazard, Nick Ratliff, his first. Hayden East to the line and Coach East, you know, we, your team's down nine early or 11 here early on. Uh, seeing a couple of these go through, maybe what Buckhorn needs to put some points up there. Yeah, and he's the guy that needs to respond. You know, the, he has to, they have to counter Hazard's run with one of their own and, and uh, he is the best place to, to start with that. Hazard on top, 15 to six, 141. Left here in quarter number one. Seth Cottle with it, crosses the timeline. Over to Eversole, Dalton Combs deep in the right corner. Ball's being reversed back around to the left side. Cottle, Eversole, back to Cottle, back up top to Combs. Combs to Ratliff, back to Cottle in the corner. Good defensive series by Buckhorn. Dalton Combs gets it down low and puts it up and in, and the foul. Foul is going to be on Jesse Cole. His first. Dalton Combs to the line for one shot. And Coach, as patient as Hazard was, they made that Buckhorn zone shift sides three or four times. Yeah, Gets it point blank range. And Buckhorn came out there that time in, in more of a, a straight 2-3 two, look instead of the 1-2-2. Two, two. And Hazard was able to able to exploit it pretty quickly. 18-6, to six, Hazard lead. 105 left here in the first quarter. Hayden East with it for Buckhorn. Between the legs down the lane, he's going to be fouled. He'll be on the floor. It's going to be on Ratliff. That's going to be his second. Yeah. The Buckhorn basketball underneath their own basket. And if you're Nick Ratliff, you know, two fouls, you definitely can't pick up another one. He gets it right inside to Jacob. He's shot put up, blocked, and controlled by the Bulldogs. What a block by Higgins. <laughs> yeah. He just took the ball right away, uh, right out of the air. Hazard with it. Cottle down the lane, kicks it over to Ratliff, back to Eversole. Little shake and bake down the lane, puts it up and in. Nice take, nice finish by Eversole. 14-point Hazard lead, 40 seconds left here in the first quarter. Trace Kincaid coming to the bench to check in for Hazard, probably replacing Ratliff. Buckhorn has it. Jacob Neese down the lane. Puts a floater up. No good. Rebound by Eversole. Had a good look. Just couldn't get the drop. Coach Holland pulls the reins back on Seth Cottle. He was wanting to run. Bulldogs will take the last shot. On top, 20-6. to six. Cottle with it. Between the legs. Splits two defenders. Leans in. Puts the shot up. No good. Rebound. Controlled by Higgins. And that's going to bring the first quarter to a close with Hazard on top by a score of 20 to 6. We'll step away for a commercial break. When we'll come back, we'll have second quarter action for you right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Just what the doctor ordered, 24 hours a day. One Stop Market in Stennett. Whether your car needs a fill-up or you need a fill-up, One Stop Market is just what you need. Hamburgers, hoagies, Philly cheese, steak, and pizza, plus an incredible breakfast menu. Short orders prepared around the clock. Gasoline, food, groceries, the name says it all. One Stop Market in Stennett, a Friends of Cole business. Stop in and see Amy and the crew. Your business is always sincerely appreciated. One Stop Market. 
The Medicine Shop Pharmacy of Hyden is proud to be locally owned and operated for the past 27 years. When you come into the Medicine Shop, you're treated like family, not just another customer. Their pharmacist, Peyton Noble, and staff of certified pharmacy technicians care beyond prescriptions. Come in today and see what a difference a locally owned, independent pharmacy can make in your family's health care experience. The Medicine Shop of Hyden, 606-672-8705. Welcome back once again to Leslie County High School, getting ready to start quarter number two here in the boys' 54th district tournament. Hazard on top, 20 to six. Coach, what does Buckhorn have to do to put some more points on the board? Well, they they've got a uh, Hayden East has to get going and, and get and get more looks, and they got to get some help by some other folks. He can't do it all by himself. Everybody from Buckhorn had a few good looks, just couldn't get some shots to go. Riley with the basketball for Buckhorn. Now Jacob Neese back up top to Jesse Cole, hands it off to Hayden Neese. Being guarded by Trace Kincaid, who checked into the lineup for Hazard. Neese down the lane, puts a shot up, no good. Cole gets it, shot blocked off of Cole out of bounds. Great defensive effort by the Bulldogs. Yeah, it was. They, that's about the second or third time that, that Buckhorns got to the rim, and they just rejected it. Hazard basketball. Number Buckhorn back in that 2-3 again in there. They are... Uh, wanting to force the ball out of the middle of the floor. And then the Hazard promptly tries to get it to the middle of the floor. Seth Cottle knocks down a 12-footer. Bulldogs on top 22-6. to six. I've said it so many times this year, Jeff. He elevates perfectly. He can elevate over. You know, you, you've coached. Get a hand in their face as there's a long three on the way from Hayden. He's no good. He can elevate over that hand and still have a very good look. Yeah, he does. Now Cottle with it. Gets it in the corner to Kincaid. Back up top to Combs. Combs over to Eversole. Thought about the long three. Drives it down the lane. Puts it up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back in. We've seen him do that twice here this season. Yes, yeah, second time for Eversole there. 24-6 to six is the lead for Hazard. Firmly in control here early in the second quarter. Hayden Neese with it. Ball nearly stolen. Jacob Neese pulls up for a long three, and it's good. Trying to breathe a little life into Buckhorn is Jacob Neese from three-point land. 24 Buckhorn to really nine. needed that one. Yeah, they did. Just, just to score and see the ball go through the rim. Hazard has it. Combs to Eversole. Back to Combs. He let a three fly. No good, but rebounded by Cottle. Puts it up and in from 15. Buckhorn's got to clean up that defensive rebound. Can't give him another look. No, they can't. That was that was too easy. 26 to 9. Six minutes left here in the second quarter. Hazard on top. Jacob Neese with it. Gives it over to Ethan Huff, who checked in during the timeout. Jesse Cole thought about the long three-pointer. Gives it to Hayden Neese. He has a ball stripped by Higgins. Higgins long pass to Eversole. Eversole puts it up and in with the foul. And he'll go to the line. Foul's going to be on Jesse Cole. Tucker Johnson checking in for Hazard. Two on Cole, and Buckhorn can't afford to have Jesse Cole sitting on on the bench very long in foul trouble. He is their best rebounder. Eversole puts the free throw up. No good. Eversole, a 79% free throw shooter on the year. Couldn't get it to go. Now we're going to have a foul on Kincaid of Hazard as Hayden Neese split two defenders and drew the foul. We'll look for a towel to drive some perspiration. If they do that, Coach. We do want to thank everybody for tuning in, all of our sponsors especially, but you, know, you can tune in on 97.9 WZQQ, WSGS.com, or WSGS Facebook, or WSGS YouTube. A lot of ways to Check out all the action here in the 54th District Tournament. Absolutely, Jeff. And we'll be back uh, for the next two nights for the championship games. Hazard ahead 28-9, to nine, looking to punch their ticket to Thursday night with a win over Buckhorn. Hayden Neese trying to do something about it. Long step back three. Good. We've seen him make that shot so many times, and he's yeah. so hard to guard. Yeah, and he uh, he's just so he comfortable out there. 22-footer didn't seem to. He, he, he was really comfortable putting that one up. 
Combs with an errant pass. Buckhorn basketball. Hayden Neese, another three. No good. Rebound fought for. Tapped out of bounds. And last touch by Buckhorn. So it'll be Hazard basketball. If that one could have went in, Coach. Uh, that would have ignited this Buckhorn crowd and, and given their team a lift. 28-12. to 12, 4.55 left here in the second quarter. Kincaid over to Cottle. Cottle down the lane. Puts up the runner. No good. Rebound by Johnson. Gets it over to Eversole. Ball tipped away. Bodies everywhere. And there's going to be a foul on Hayden Neese. As he was on the floor going for the loose ball. The Buckhorn faithful behind us. Not really appreciating that call. No, I don't think they liked it. 440 left here in the second quarter. Combs to Eversole. Back up top to Cottle. Over to Kincaid. Combs to Johnson, really looking to pound that ball inside to either Eversol or Tucker Johnson right here. Eversol gets it in the short corner, makes the move, kicks it out. Seth Cottle, long three, straight away, and it's good. Buckhorn, Buckhorn's just not been able so far to make Hazard uncomfortable in that half-court set at all. Hayden Neese down the lane, puts up the floater, puts it in, goes around Kincaid at midcourt. Nobody picked him up. Cottle over to Eversole. He's going to try a three from the left wing. It's good. Hazard really feeling it offensively right now. Coach Holland's going to take a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Thinking of buying a home? Maybe you're a little anxious about taking that first step. Maybe you want to sell your current home, but you just don't know where to start. Drop the anxiety. Why not get help from someone who happens to know the housing market better than anyone in our area? Someone who has already helped many first-time buyers as well as long-time homeowners. Michelle Jones, your local REMAX realtor. Michelle is ranked in the nation's top agents and serves your area. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, the right agent can lead the way. Michelle Jones, REMAX. Call 233-4185. Welcome back, folks, once again to the Boys 54th District Tournament here at Leslie County High School at Richard M. Nixon Center. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier bringing you all the action and Hazard firmly in control of this one, Coach, up 20, 34 to 14. Yeah, they are. They're so comfortable in their offense and and, uh, Buckhorn so far just hasn't been able to get them out of their comfort zone at all. They give Hazard a lot of credit. Their ball movement and execution on the offensive end is – Awarded them a lot of good looks, and uh, they're shooting a really high percentage here so far tonight. Yeah, they are. Hayden East with it on the right wing for Buckhorn. Crosses over his man down the lane. Shots blocked by Johnson, but they're going to say he was fouled. So, first foul on Tucker Johnson. We'll send Hayden East to the line for two more free throws. Hayden East does a real good job getting around that first defender. He He does. He and as long as he does that, he's gonna he's gonna get good looks. Hazard has been uh, there, you know. They're helping well on defense, but when he gets in that deep, he's gonna score. I thought Nick Ratliff was doing a really good job on Nice, but he picked up two fouls. Nice makes the first one, misses the second one. Rebound control by Hazard. Here comes Seth Cottle, shake and bake, kicks in the left corner. Kincaid back to Everso, down the lane over to Combs, fourteen footer, no good. Rebound by Eversole, puts it up, misses it. Rebound by Johnson, and he lost it out of bounds. So, Hazard with another good look. Couldn't convert that one. Yeah, they're getting so many second-chance looks. uh, 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 If if Buckhorn's going to make a run, they've got to take away some of those. 34 to 15, three minutes, 20 seconds left. Austin Riley down the lane, gives it to Cole. Cole over to Jacob Neese on the right wing, dribbling back up top. Goes between the legs, back to Riley. Coach Blank urging his Wildcats to set up the offense. Riley over to Nice. Let's a three-pointer fly from the right wing. It's good. Hayden Nice starting to come alive. Yeah, he he is really waking it up. 34 to 18. 13 is, points for uh for Nice so far. 13 to the 18. Yeah. Hazard with it up top. There's Kincaid ball deflected by Nice. On his way to the basket, puts a shot up and in. Two more for Hayden East. That's the kind of monumental effort he's going to have to put forth tonight for Buckhorn yeah. to get back in this yeah, one. But they absolutely. Could, he, he is the guy. They've cut the lead to 14, 34 to 20, 225 left here in the second quarter. Kincaid with it. Gets it inside to Eversole. 
Double team tries to skip it through to Johnson. Ball was the last touch by Buckhorn. We has her basketball. Connor Holbrook coming in for Hazard. I'm sure he'll be assigned the task to guard Hayden Neath. Get it in to get it in to Cottle. Just way too easy, easy on that Easy look play. for Cottle in there. Neath with it goes straight around Holbrook, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound by Johnson. Long pass up ahead to Combs. Combs on the left wing gives it to Eversol. Look at somebody pack door cut by Cottle, but a great pass by Eversol. Easy four points uh, for Seth Cottle. Cottle moves so well without the ball. He stays busy. He and Eversol play really good together. They they know where each other's gonna go. Evanson sort of gave him a little head nod. He cut back door and he hit him in stride for that easy layup. It's going to be a foul as Riley's making his way to the basket. It's going to be on Combs. Yeah, that's two on Don Combs. Braden Williams returning to the lineup for Buckhorn. I almost think, Coach, to, to make Hazard, you, you, you've got to get some way to get either Cottle or Everso or both in a little bit of foul trouble. They play really good without fouling. Yeah, they do. going to be hazard basketball. Not for sure what the call was. Let's say Buckhorn threw it out of bounds. I felt like there very well very well could have been a, a foul on the, on the Bulldogs there. And then Cole, I think, when he lost it, he, he, uh, he may have touched it last. But I think he got fouled before then. Nonetheless, hazard basketball. Looking to extend this 18-point lead. Ever so, shot fake down the lane, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Johnson, and he's fouled. Little pushing and shoving. Everybody steps between. It's going to be a foul on number 22, Cole, and that's his third, Coach. Yeah, and I think they're going to have to get him out of there now. Uh, this last minute, three seconds of the first half, and they'll miss him. Just his presence inside. Ethan Huff returning to the lineup replaces Cole. And Kim Cade checking back in for Hazard, replacing Dalton Cole. Tucker Johnson, after everything settles down to the line, where we have two shots. First one's good. And here's the thing, Coach. You, you you see a lot of people really struggling right now with the crowd noise that's in here. There's a lot of pointing, a lot of, you know, trying to direct a lot of traffic. And a lot of times during the regular season, you can communicate that verbally. But uh, Yeah, it's, a, it's always a little louder this time of the year and harder to. Shot was put up by Riley, blocked by Hazard, controlled by Hazard and the Bulldogs. May hold this for one. Yeah, very one well. Shot. May no may hold on to it for one. Hazard on top, thirty-nine to twenty. Just under, just that thirty-five seconds left here in the second quarter. Cottle with it out top, gives it over to Kincaid. Back to Cottle. Cottle a little jab step to create some distance. And I think that's a, a good veteran move by Coach Holland there. You, you're not going. You're going to go in no less than nineteen up. And maybe maybe break that 20-point mark here. Here now, Coach Allen's calling out screen. He's going to go with about eight seconds. There's a screen for Cottle. Kicks it over in the corner. Kim Cade lets a three-pointer fly. No good. Rebound by Holbrook. Inside to Eversole. Puts it up and in at the buzzer. Yeah. So Hazard with two at the buzzer. Makes the score 41-20. to 20. Here at the half. Been an exciting first half of basketball. Stick with us. We'll send it for a short break when we come back. Halftime stats and analysis right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. 
Looking for fast, easy, and secure electronic banking? Community Trust Bank has a wide variety of banking services to meet your needs, including internet banking, bill pay, and mobile banking. We now have even more great services like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Make payments directly from your smartphone. And Zelle, a fast, easy, secure way to send and receive money from your smartphone. Visit us on the internet at ctbi.com or stop by and see us at one of our 79 branch offices. Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Let's face it, in today's world, it's easy to get the feeling that the world is against you. So it's really nice to know that you do have someone on your side. The Law Offices of David A. Johnson. Accidents and injury law, personal injury, commercial vehicle accidents, criminal and capital offense cases, drug-related cases. David A. Johnson, Justin Noble, and Michael Johnson will fight for you. Call for a free consultation, 435-1552. Visit them at 461 Main Street in Hazard, online at davidajohnsonlaw.com or on Facebook. This is an advertisement. Kentucky basketball is a long-standing tradition steeped in championship history. We at Kemper Furniture are proud to be able to support the Big Blue Nation on WSGS. Come see us at Kemper Furniture and shop all the winning brands that have stood the test of time. And let our all-star team help you choose the best seat in the house. Kemper Furniture, families serving families since 1963. Did something recently change with your pharmacy? Or are you unsatisfied with your pharmacy service? Consider switching to RX Discount Pharmacy on Morton Boulevard in Hazard. RX Discount Pharmacy offers convenience items, drive through delivery, compound medication, and more. RX Discount Pharmacy has been locally owned and operated for more than 30 years, and they don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So choose a name you know and can trust at RX Discount Pharmacy. Nobody beats the Big Kahuna. East Kentucky's world-class premier car wash, giving you the ultimate car wash, the most modern and advanced car wash experience available today. Check out the new ceramic car wash option. It's incredible. Big or small, they clean them all. Nobody beats the Big Kahuna car wash. Located next to Fazoli's in Hazard. Single washer memberships are available. Free vacuums with wash or memberships. For East Kentucky's best car wash, remember the The Big Big Kahuna. Kahuna. East Kentucky Carpet One has been serving Eastern Kentucky for more than 45 years. And we are proud to say that we are still here with the same quality family-owned business. We have experience in commercial and residential properties with a fully stocked warehouse. We also have access to luxury vinyl waterproof flooring, tile, carpet, and much more. Professional installation is also available. Stop by East Kentucky Carpet at 204 Willie's Way or give us a call at 606-439-3858. East Kentucky Carpet One. Welcome back, folks, to Leslie County High School here at the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center. Coach Wendell Wilson, Court, Jeff Campbell, and Coach Randy Napier bringing you all the action of the opening round of the boys' 54th district tournament. We're at halftime between Hazard and Buckhorn. Hazard on top by a score of 41-20. to 20. And, uh, Coach, tell us how they got there. Well, uh, from start to finish, they've shot the ball well. They've, uh, they've handled uh, – Handled Buckhorn at the defensive end and really, uh, really made it difficult. Hayden East, uh, only uh, the only Buckhorn Wildcat at double figures with 15 points. He had a big half. Uh, the only and uh, only had two people in the scoring column. Uh, uh, Jacob Neese has uh, 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 come in with five points, so that's all the scoring for the uh, Wildcats on the Bulldog side. You had Seth Cottle with 13 points. Uh, you had uh, Evan Eversol with nine. You had uh, Don Combs with six uh, and a three-pointer. You had Nick Rattle of two three-pointers and eight points before he picked up two fouls. And then Don John, I mean uh, Tucker Johnson uh, hit one out of two free throws. Hazard is clicking on all cylinders right now. They they really came out here and looked impressive in that first half. They uh, they just they handled. Uh, 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 Buckhorns tried a couple things defensively. They haven't been able to. They haven't been able to, to keep uh, Hazard from getting the shots they want at all. And it's and it's been difficult for Buckhorn to get good looks. You know, other if you take um, take Hayden East away from that, uh, then uh, Buckhorn's in real trouble. Oh, yeah. They, Buckhorn got off to a good start. They had a 2 to nothing lead. 
Uh, then Hazard answered, tied it up two to two, and then it sort of was the Nick Ratliff show. He he scored like eight straight. Yeah, and I think when that happened, it it sort of shocked Buckhorn because you know Buckhorn, I'm sure all week long, where hey, we got to control Everso, we got to control sure. Cottle, sure. and all of a sudden Ratliff starts firing away, and, and they start going in, and Buckhorn starts switching it up a little bit, and then when they did, then you see it sort of open up for Everso and Cottle, and. Uh, and, and Buckhorn's definitely got to find a, a way to slow those guys down, but they've got to find a ways to uh, to score some points from some other folks yeah. here in the second half. And, you know, Hazard is just doing what good teams do. They've done this all year long. Uh, they uh, they have been consistent. Uh, they, they've, uh, you know, you, you, they're not 24-5 and five by accident. They, hey. They've done they've, – uh, they've been good offensively. They've been good defensively. They've controlled the boards. Uh, you, they've done about everything you can ask of the team. It, you've done a lot of hazard games. I've done a lot of hazard games. We've seen hazard play a lot this year. And one of the things that I, I, I just realized, very businesslike. When they warm up, they are. They are. You know, I'm, I was noticing, you know, out here they were warming up. All these guys were, 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 were breaking a sweat. They were they were locked in, and uh, and that's that's usually a sign of a, of, of a pretty good basketball team. Yeah, you know, it, 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 talking with Coach Holland a little bit uh, uh, last week, uh, he told me, he said, I've really enjoyed this team because they do things right. He said, I don't have to stay after them uh, as much as a lot of teams that you that you have, and you, don't, you understand what I'm saying. He doesn't have to stay after them to keep them on task. He said, they've, they've done about what I've asked of them this year. You know, he said it. Uh, it's been kind of fun. And and the good news for Coach Holland, maybe the bad news for everybody else, is out of those five guys that are starting, none of them are seniors. <laughs> no, they're so. all coming back. This it's a young young bulldog group, but uh, very experienced group also. Though we are about two minutes and fifty seconds away from starting the third quarter, we'll send it back to the station for one more commercial break. When we come back, we'll have all the third quarter action for you right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. February is Heart Month, a time to focus on your health. You have the power to take action to protect yourself against heart disease, and ARH wants to help you prioritize your heart health. ARH cardiology clinics offer expert personalized care, including screenings and heart-healthy lifestyle planning, all close to home. To find an ARH cardiology clinic near you, visit arh.org slash cardiovascular and schedule an appointment today. Your heart is in good hands with ARH. ARH, more for Appalachia. First Trust Bank has partnered with Zelle, so you can skip the trip to the ATM and send funds directly to friends and family from your First Trust Bank app. Zelle is available in financial institutions across the country, creating a network of trusted partnerships that allow money to move quickly and securely. Whether you need to split the rent or last night's dinner, do it with ease and confidence using Zelle. Creating partnerships that make local banking easier is another reason you can look to us first for a bank you can trust. First Trust Bank, member FDIC. When times are at their worst, Couch and Fugit attorneys at law are at their best. Couch and Fugit can help with bankruptcy, foreclosures, medical debt, credit card bills, repossessions, and tax issues. Bankruptcy, Chapter 7 and 13. Plus, they offer free consultation. Couch and Fugit attorneys at law with offices on Main Street in Hyden and 310 West 5th Street in London. You can visit online at couchandfugit.com or on Facebook. Couch and Fugit attorneys at law, 672-7300. Nothing goes along better with sports than pizza, and nobody does pizza like Papa John's. Open till 11 p.m. weekdays and until midnight on the weekends. Don't feel like going out? It's not a problem with Papa John's. Call your order in at 439-2332 or place your order online at papajohns.com, and they deliver. Right now, get one large pizza with up to five toppings or a specialty pizza online. Just use promo code 1799-ANY. Papa John's Pizza in a class of its own, located on Highway 15 North in Hazard. Welcome back once again, folks, to Leslie County High School here at the Nixon Center for opening night of the boys' 54th district tournament, Buckhorn and Hazard. Hazard well in control, 41 to 20, as we get ready to start the third quarter. Jeff Campbell and Randy Napier. Uh, and coach, we want to remind everybody of tomorrow night, we got a doubleheader tonight. So Perry Central and Leslie County will play after this game. And then tomorrow night at 7 o'clock will be the girls' championship game between Hazard and Perry County Central. And then the boys' championship game will be on Thursday at 7 o'clock. So a little yes, different sir. format for the district tournament this year. It is, but uh, got two more nights of action, and uh, and it uh, uh, 
Uh, like what you had uh, mentioned at halftime, Jeff, Hazard has been very businesslike going about yeah. this, this first half. They just were pretty dominant. It'll be Buckhorn basketball starting off as Nice gets it in over to Jacob Nice. Now back to Hayden Nice trying to go around the screen deep in the right corner and throws it away. Good defense by Buckhorn. You get in that corner and you get a couple of extra defenders in the baseline and the sideline. Yeah. And, uh, Hayden Ran Neese out of really room. Nowhere to go. Right. Buck, or excuse me, Hazard basketball. Seth Cottle with it. Buckhorn back in his one two two point drop, Coach. Yeah, they were in that early on, and I felt like they had more success with that than uh, – And just where he left and off. And as I spoke, <laughs> Nick Ratliff drained another one. You know, Nick Ratliff picked up two fouls, set out most of the second quarter, uh, makes that long three-pointer to give Hazard the 44-20 to 20 lead. Nick with 11 points. Now Hazard in a man-to-man. Jesse Cole with it up top. Gives it over to Hayden Neese. Directing traffic. He's going to use the screen from Jacob Neese. No, takes a long three-pointer shot. was partially blocked. Ratliff got a – yeah, he got a hand on that one. Higgins pulls down the board for Hazard. Cottle with it. Over to Ratliff. Ratliff, nowhere to go. Gives it to Higgins in the corner. Higgins back to Ratliff. Skips it up to Cottle. Long three-pointer straight away. Top of the key's good. Seth Cottle. Hazard really shooting the ball well from outside. Well, they're they're catching it in rhythm. They're not they're not uh, there's no stress on them right now. They're catching it in rhythm and just draining those three. Buckhorn with a basketball. Jacob Neese over to Hayden Neese. Oh, sorry, it's a long three by Cole. Doesn't draw iron. Goes out of bounds. Hazard basketball. A little frustration in the faces of the Buckhorn Wildcats. It'll be a 30-second timeout taken by Buckhorn. We'll take it with them. 628 left in the third quarter. Back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Perry Vinyl and Metal Sales is located on the Combs Road in the former 84 Lumber Company. Come and see their huge selection of mobile home parts, including doors, windows, roofing, guttering, and more. You might want to consider using your 2023 tax refund for a new roof, new windows, or new doors. Or maybe you need mobile home parts. Perry Vinyl and Metal Sales. Come say hi to their friendly to work with staff. Open Monday through Friday, 8 till 5. Call for more information, 435-7639. Perry Vinyl and Metal Sales on the Combs Road. Back once again here at the Nixon Center. Jeff Campbell and Randy Napier hazard well in control up 47 to 20 with the basketball over Buckhorn here in the opening round of the boys' 54th district basketball tournament. Yeah, Bulldogs appear to be on cruise control right now. And I don't know if, if Buckhorn has much of an answer for this. Buckhorn's gone man to man now, coach, and we're going to have an illegal screen on Dalton Combs. That was one of those that was away from the ball. And they gets three on Dalton. Yeah, we'll see Holbrook or Kincaid up off the bench here quickly, I'm sure. Buckhorn basketball. Hayden East with it. Uses a screen from Riley. Deep in the corner to Braden Williams. Williams back to Hayden East. Left corner. Shot fake. Drives down the lane. Puts it up no good. He's fouled and will be out of bounds underneath for the Wildcats. That's three on Ratliff. Buckhorn Hayden East set to trigger it in. Gets it inside the cold ball. deflected off somebody's foot. Foul trouble's been about the only thing that slowed Nick Ratliff down tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's off to a great start. And, you know, I... You know, command his teammates. He sat for a while. They looked for him early on in that third quarter. He knocked down that three. Speaking of three, there's one from Hayden East. No good. Long rebound down to Seth Cottle. Pass up the head to Higgins. And ball's deflected out of bounds. It'll be Hazard basketball. And Higgins got out on the break there. And uh, and uh, a wildcat ran him down at the last second. It's usually the other way around. Higgins making that long outlet pass. But he was yeah. looking like a wide receiver this time. Ever so, just a strong move down the lane and lots of contact gets fouled. It's going to be on Cole. That's his That's fourth. It's going to be four on Cole, yeah. Evan Eversole is just so strong and he uses his body so well. 
Yeah, he's, he's got great length, and he and he uh, and he takes his time. He, you know, he uh, he makes those moves, but he's never in a big rush. You know, he keeps his head up, coach. And we 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 see young players and talk about young players all the time keeping their head up. And growing up, he was a guard, and he shoots it like a guard. And he handles it like a guard, and he, he sees really the does. floor yeah. like a guard. You yeah. know. And uh, he, he, we've seen him tonight score from multiple levels, a three-pointer down the lane and a mid-range jumper. And uh, he's one reason Hazard's up 29 here on Buckhorn. Hayden knees with it over to Williams. Williams to Huff, who just checked in. Ball's deflected, controlled by Austin Riley. He puts up the shot in the paint, no good. Rebound by Eversole. And that was another situation where Hazard's Hazard's length and size inside there made it, made what looked to be an easy shot a hard one. Hazard on top, 49 to 20. Clock winds under five minutes here in the third quarter. Ratliff with it up top. Down inside to Eversole. Spin move, puts it up, no good. But there's Higgins, puts it up and in. And that's what Higgins does. He's not going to line up the scoring column, but he's going to get offensive rebound, and he's going to put it back yeah, in. He's, he's a garbage guy. He picks them up. Sort of embraces that role. Takes a lot of pride he's, in it. You can tell he does. Buckhorn basketball. Hayden Neese with it. Trying to use the screen. Drives down the lane. Pulls up from 16 feet. Puts it in. Well, and Hazard did a good job on him that trip. That was just a good offensive play. Hayden Neese really an underrated player. You know, a lot of critics didn't have him ranked very highly in the, in the region as an individual player. But I, I think he's one of the top ten players in the region. Everso over to Cottle. 16 footers good. Nice pass by Everso there. He penetrated, kicked it to his teammate there on the baseline. Hayden Neese with it, being guarded by Ratliff. Sort of directing people out of his way. Goes off the screen from Jacob Meese, crosses over. Hesitation dribble. Backs it up into the jump, jump circle. Passes it over to Riley. Back to Jacob Meese down the lane. He'll try a 12-footer. Can't get it to go. Rebound by Cottle. Outlet to Eversole. Sideline break. Eversole. Shake and bake. Up and no good. Ball was tipped. Controlled by Hayden Neese of Buckhorn. Here comes Neese in a hurry. Down the lane. Puts the runner up and no good, but he's fouled. And will go the line for two free throws. It'll be on Cottle. I have that as his first. Tucker Johnson at the scores table, set to check in. Fifty-three to twenty-two. Fifty-three to twenty-three. Now thirty-point lead for Hazard. Three eighteen left in the third quarter. I'm sure the Bulldogs are are have it in the back of their mind that uh, they've got an opportunity to get that run on clock pretty soon. Second free throw from Nice is good. Hazard inbounds. Buckhorn set to retreat in back in that zone. Seth Cottle over to Nick Ratliff. High post to Johnson, who just checked in. Long three-pointer Dalton Combs straight away is good. I mean, Hazard just lighting it up. And Jeff, if they if, if they're supporting cash like like Dalton Combs, Nick Ratliff, and company, if they shoot the ball like that. Outside, Bulldogs are going to be hard to handle. Basket put up at him by Nice. Nice move, nice finish. Yeah, that was a nice finish. 56 26, 235 left here in the third quarter. Cottle, 15 footer. Short off the front of the rim. Rebound control by Huff of Buckhorn. And Jeff, he don't miss many of those, but that one came up a little short. Long three-pointer straight away. Hayden East, it's good. Little 5-0 run from the Wildcats. Coach Blank is going to take a full timeout. We'll take it with them. 222 remaining here in the third quarter. Back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. At TVS, we've been working hard preparing for the future. Well, the future is now. TVS offers digital cable, digital phone service, high-speed internet, and a fiber optic infrastructure. We're a local company putting money back into our local economy while supporting our local schools and organizations. What about those other guys? You know, those big out-of-town companies. What have they done for you lately? Mountain people serving mountain people. 
TVS 606-439-3167. Attention all residents in Ledger County and surrounding areas. Are you looking for a personalized health care that's efficient and close to home? Primary Care Center is now your destination for comprehensive health care in the center of your community. With a team of experienced and caring local providers, we offer a range of services. Conveniently located next to Pine Mountain Grill, we are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Call 606-403-0001, and walk-ins are always welcome. Back once again here at Leslie County High School, the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier bringing you all the action tonight. Game one of a doubleheader. Hazard in control over Buckhorn, 56-29. The Eagles of Leslie County and the Commodores of Perry County Central will take the floor after this one. Yeah, we've got a full night tonight. Good crowd on hand. Hazard has the basketball. Combs to Cottle, deep in the corner, inside to Johnson. Johnson, strong move, puts it up, and no good. But he will shoot two free throws. Looked like somebody got lost on defense there because Tucker Johnson was by himself on the goal. Earned himself a trip to the free throw line. Thought he had a, a chance for the and one. Couldn't get the shot to go. First free throw from Johnson up and in. You know, that's the thing with this hazard lineup. If you think when Higgins goes out of the game, you think, oh, that's we, we got a little bit of a break. And then here comes Tucker Johnson, a, a strong physical player. Uh, who, who sort of does the same thing that Higgins does inside for the Bulldogs. Yeah, he's he's been a difference maker all year long. Tucker Johnson has coming second, off that bench. Second free throw's no good. Hayden East with a runner in the paint. Puts it up and in. Hayden East trying to resuscitate the Wildcats here in the third quarter. 57-31. Johnson deep in the right corner up to Cottle. Ball being reversed. Dalton Combs with it. Ever so short corner. Skips it across to Cottle. Skips it back to Dalton Combs inside to Eversoe. Shot fake, puts it up, no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it up and in. He's got at least six points off of offensive rebounds, but he steps yes, he on a foot. Twisted that ankle as he turned to make his move back up the floor. Down on the floor in a lot of pain, but so tough young man. Fifty-nine to thirty-one, one thirty-two left here in the third quarter. It happens so many times, Coach. Uh, silence just falls over this place when. Yeah, and uh, you know, one bad step can uh, can change the entire postseason for a player. Ever so, limping off the floor, being helped by his teammates, Trip Bashir and Kenyon Higgins. A young man that's battled through a lot of injuries. Had a nasty elbow injury a couple years ago. You heard Coach Holland say he's had some some back issues. He's and had now, some back spasm issues uh, off and on throughout the season. Now stepped on a foot and a, a twisted ankle with his Bulldogs on top, 59-31 to 31 here in the first third quarter. Excuse me, one minute, 32 seconds left. It will be Buckhorn basketball. Huff gets it into Hayden Neese over to Riley. Flex offense for the Wildcats. Jacob Neese over to Huff. Long three-pointer from the left. He's good. Ethan Huff's first basket of the night. 59-34. to 34. And Jeff, only the only the third player in the scoring column for the Wildcats. Hazard has it. Trapped in the corners. Combs reverses it out to Cottle. Reverse deep in the left corner now to Johnson. Now Seth Cottle with it. In near the center jump circle. It's Cottle, Kincaid, Ratliff, Johnson, and Combs on the floor for the Bulldogs. Kincaid with it. Skip pass to Ratliff. Back up top to Cottle. Cottle with it. Trying to avoid the double team. Back to Kincaid. Hazard. Maybe working it down for the last shot. Yeah, Long time to hold be the patient now. Button. Yeah. Cottle with it. Breaks the count over to Kincaid. Back to Cottle. Hayden East applying a lot of pressure. There's a trap. Back to Kincaid. Back to Cottle. It's a little keep away. Cottle down the lane. Gets it to Ratliff. Puts it up. 
No good, but Nick Ratliff's fouled and will shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Hayden Neese. That's his second. 59 to 34. Is the score. Buckhorn cut into this lead a little bit. Coach still down a significant amount. Nick Ratliff makes the free throw. Ratliff, every shot he takes looks like it's going in, Jeff. He's one of those guys. 27-point Bulldog lead, 10 seconds. Here comes Nice, splits the defenders, and he's fouled. Take your pick. It's going to be four fouls on Dalton Combs. Huff set the inbound right in front of us. Seven seconds left on the clock here in the third quarter. They're going to look for for Hayden Neese if they can get it to him. Riley gets it. Makes a move down the lane. Gets it to Williams. Williams, shot fake. Gets it to ball tipped around. Jacob Neese at the buzzer. No good. Couldn't get a look at all. No, good good defense by Hazard. They're on top 61 to 34. We'll be back for the fourth and final quarter of play after this break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Having electric motor problems? Then you, my friend, need to call Maggard Electric. Located on Highway 15, six miles north of Hazard, Maggard Electric has over 300 electric motors in stock, and their EASA-approved staff has more than 30 years' experience in electric motor repair. Swimming pool motors and complete pumps, motor for air compressors, heat pumps, furnaces, and air conditioners. At Maggard Electric, they have it, or they'll get it at the best price. Maggard Electric, serving Perry and surrounding counties. Highway 15, north of Hazard, 436-6886. With the Perry County Public Library card, you can check out books, movies, magazines, ebooks, as well as use their online databases that allow you to take online classes, repair your auto, or research your family history. Visit the library at 289 Black Gold Boulevard, Hazard, Kentucky. Call them at 606 436 2475 or visit their website, perrycountylibrary.org, for more information. The Perry County Public Library, your source for information, education, and entertainment. Welcome back, folks. We are set to begin the fourth quarter to be Hazard basketball on top 61 to 34 over Buckhorn in the opening round of the boys' 54th district tournament. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier bringing you the first of two tonight. Double header for the boys. Hazard basketball. It's Kincaid with it up top. Gets it over to Ratliff. Ratliff, a little hesitation, gets it in the paint. Ball's reversed back around to Seth Cottle. Up top to Tucker Johnson. Nick Ratliff, deep three in the right corner. No good. Rebounds chased down by Hayden Issa Buckhorn. He long pass up ahead to Austin Riley. Puts a shot up. No good. Rebound by Tucker Johnson of Hazard. An important, important update there. You know, Hazard loses a lot of scoring and a lot of size when uh, when Eversoles out of the ball game. Nice shot there by Seth Cottle. A 14-footer found the opening in the middle of that zone. You're right, Coach. Uh, Evan Everso sort of drives the train for the Bulldogs, so he to speak. He does so many things for them. It's going to be a foul on Tucker Johnson. He fouled Hayden Neese as he made his move to the basket. So, Neese back to the line for two more shots. 7.03 left here in the ball game. 63 to 35, Hazard on top. Want to remind everyone we will have a player of the game at the conclusion of this one as Nice makes the second one. That'll be the East Kentucky Sports Network sport and the Sports Connection here in Hyden, Kentucky, sponsoring that player of the game. Hazard basketball, Ratliff with it, being guarded by Williams over to Kincaid. This one's really getting up, uh, getting up in their face now, trying to disrupt their offense. Hazard just set to run that flex offense. Ratliff goes around Williams, puts it up, no good. But he's fouled and will go to the line for two free throws. So it'll be on Jacob Neese. Buckhorn really trying to extend that man-to-man defense, Coach, but Ratliff uh, just goes around his man and gets deep in the paint, draws a foul. Hazard's patience tonight has been impressive. They, they, they never get in a hurry. They haven't gotten a hurry the entire night on offense. 
And they're always quick, but they're never in a hurry. Ratliff makes both free throws. Here comes Buckhorns. Jacob Neese down the lane, puts a shot up, and no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by Hazard, and he's going to be fouled by Hayden Neese. That's Connor Holbrook into the lineup for Hazard. That's three on Hayden Neese, and, uh, and you know, he's he's been doing everything for him tonight. Long three-pointer for Hazard's Kincaid. No good. Rebound by Austin Riley of Buckhorn. Riley down the lane. Splits two defenders. Puts it up and in. Nice move by Riley. Riley's first venture into the scoring column with his first basket. 65-38. Hazard on top. Six minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Seth Cottle with it. Spins down the lane. Pulls up 15-footer short. No good. Rebound Jacob Neese of Buckhorn. Jacob Neese over to Hayden Neese. Hayden Neese to Riley. Riley moved down the lane, puts a shot up. He's fouled by Johnson. Tucker Johnson, that's his third. Buckhorn looking to be a little more aggressive here late in this one. Uh, you know, still a big hole for them to climb out of, but <coughs> just trying to make it respectable. And Riley misses the first free throw. Buckhorn can't afford to leave points on, on the floor out there like that. They got to hit, though. Second free throw on the way from Austin Riley. He's no good as well. Rebound top, fought four. Claimed by Riley. Puts the runner up. No good. Rebound Had a by, good look at, yeah. on that missed shot and just couldn't get it down. Good hustle staying with it. Just couldn't get it to go. Seth Cottle with it. Deep in the right corner to Kincaid. Down inside, Johnson puts it up. No good. Rebound fought four. Control tip high in the air. Controlled by Huff of Buckhorn. Huff gets it over to Nice. Here comes Buckhorn. He has numbers. Nice inside to Riley. Shot fake. Puts it up. No good. But he's fouled. We'll go back to the free throw line. It's going to be on Seth Cottle. That's his second. Austin Riley back to the line where he just missed two for the Wildcats. Riley's 64% free throw shooter and uh, and finally gets that one to drop. Jesse Cole returning to the lineup for Buckhorn, replacing Braden Williams. Second free throw from Riley on his way, in and out, no good. Rebound claimed by Johnson of Hazard. 65-39 is the lead for the Bulldogs. Cottle with it, over to Ratliff, down inside Johnson. Puts a shot up, a lot of contact, no call. <laughs> yeah. A big shoulder block, turnover, Buckhorn gives it back to Hazard. Kincaid with it. Seth Cottle up top, being guarded by Jacob Neese. Neese, right, Johnson has it deep in the left corner. Back up top to Kincaid, balls being reversed. Holbrook to Ratliff. High post down inside, Seth Cottle. It's a good pass by Johnson that time. Yeah, Just a it little was. touch that pass. Was a great look. That's what Hazard tries to do. They run that high-low. Here comes Buckhorn with it. Tough shot by Anise. No good. Rebounded by Johnson of Hazard. 67-39. Hazard well in control. 425 left in the ballgame. Kincaid over to Ratliff. Left corner. Seth Cottle. Spin move down the baseline. Hits Johnson. Power move up. No good, but he's fouled by Ethan Huff, and Tucker Johnson will go to the line. Hazard is just so smooth and efficient offensively. They they move the ball well. They look for each other, uh, they, and, they, and they're talented guys on top of that, so it makes for a, makes for a tough night for anybody playing them. Well, and another thing that Hazard does very well uh, as Tripp Brashear checks into the lineup for Seth Cottle, Hazard doesn't turn the basketball over. No, they and don't. If you're not turning the basketball over, you're getting a lot of shots up. And if you're shooting at a high percentage, you're going to score a lot of points. Yeah. You, you explained that very well. Johnson gets a second free throw to go. We're going to be a 30 second timeout taken by Hazard. We'll take it with him back for the final four minutes and 14 seconds here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. And at Blatch Wireless, we understand that maybe you didn't really get something nice or anything at all for Valentine's Day. Well, we love you. So here's what we're doing. 
taxes on us for the rest of the month. Any device, you come get it, and we'll pay the taxes for you. Those flowers have died, you ate all the candy, but a new device is the gift that keeps on giving. Taxes on us, because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. See AppalachianWireless.com for terms and conditions. Welcome back, folks, to Leslie County High School here at the Nixon Center. Hazard on top of Buckhorn in the opening round of the boys' 54th district tournament. I score 69 to 39, four minutes, 14 seconds left in the ball game. Coach Napier in this one, uh, Buckhorn just trying to really make it respectable here. They are, and they're you know they're they're hanging in and and, and fighting every position. Buckhorn with it, Riley deep in the corner to Jacob Nice. Nice picked up his dribble, skips it across to Hayden Nice. Hayden Nice behind the back dribble. Crossover down the lane, a little runner up, no good. Rebound by Brashear of Hazard. For Hazard, it's going to be Trace Kincaid, Connor Holbrook, Trip Brashear, Tucker Johnson, and Nick Ratliff. Ratliff with it inside to Johnson. Johnson with a strong move on Riley, puts the shot up, no good. These foul will go back to the line. Braden Williams at the table, set to check back in for Buckhorn. First one from Johnson up, short, no good. But he'll have another. Also checking in for Hazard, number one, Carson Combs. This will be Tucker Johnson's eighth free throw uh, of the night. At- and uh, he is he is just a tough guy that likes to play around the basket. He's another one of those guys that uses his body real well. Missed the second free throw. Rebound by Riley. When you can use your body like that, you get in good position, and you get in a good position to draw those fouls and hopefully convert them. He didn't convert those, but he was sure hoping to. But, he's <laughs> yeah, he's going to get the opportunities. Buckhorn. Throws it in to Riley up top. Hazard now in a 2-3 zone. Hayden Neese. Deep in the right corner to Jacob Neese. Dribbling it back out. Braden Williams with it. Skip pass to Hayden Neese. Long three-pointer is going to be good. Yeah. That was good before it went in. Yeah, you can see when it left his hand. Nice ball movement. Nice finish by Hayden Neese, the senior guard for the Buckhorn Wildcats. Hazard with it, Holbrook to Johnson, reversed around to Kincaid. Back up top to Brashear. Now Combs with it. Back to Brashear, good ball movement from Hazard. Holbrook with it. Combs looking inside to Johnson. Now Holbrook with it, drives a little floater. It is up and in. Nice move by Connor Holbrook. 71-42 is your score. Hayden East crossover. Gets it to Braden Williams. Long three-pointer ball stuck. It's stuck here right between the rim and the backboard. Hazard getting some of their younger guys some valuable experience. Now Buckhorn coming in with fresh troops and, uh, and giving their kids an opportunity to play in the district tournament. Get the names to you as we can. Number four, Buckhorn is Jody Stamper. Number 14 is Daniel Morris. Number five is Cameron Miller. Number 35 is Braden Rice. And number, let's see who was throwing it in. So it's a foul. It's going to be on Hazard's number 24. Brashear. Trip Brashear, yes. Oh, Ethan Huff. He's throwing it in. So he's he's been in there for, for Buck, before for Buckhorn. Cameron Miller checks in long three-pointer, no good. Rebound is going to go out of bounds, and he'll stay with Buckhorn. So for Hazard, you still got Connor Holbrook. You got number 23, Jackson Maggard. Number 11, Gabe Watts. Number 24, Trip Brashear. And number one, Carson Combs still in there for the Bulldogs. All new faces, both teams out there. Yeah, just be easy to keep up with here this last 214. Oh, yeah. Buckhorn with it. Long three-pointer in the right corner by Stamper. No good. Rebound claimed by Brashear of Hazard. Here comes Holbrook with it. Holbrook up ahead to Combs. Back to Holbrook. 
Hazard calling out play number two. Holbrook over to Carson Combs. Back to Holbrook. Near steal by Huff. Maggard with it. Long three-pointer by Watts is no good. Rebound by Cameron Miller of Buckhorn. Long pass inside to Huff. Nowhere to go. Tries to throw it off a Bulldog. There's a turnover by Holbrook of Hazard. Buckhorn with it. Deep in the right corner, Ethan Huff. He's hit one three-pointer tonight. Misses that one. Getting a little ragged, Jeff. A little yeah. ragged down the stretch here. Hazard played, you know, three minutes and, uh, you know, most of the fourth quarter, uh, six minutes, or three quarters and six minutes, excuse me, but not a turnover. Now they've got a couple already here in the fourth. In a hurry, yeah. Nearly another turnover, but it will remain with Hazard. They're on top 71 to 42, and look like the Bulldogs will advance to the 54th District Championship here on Thursday night. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be good. And our W or East Kentucky Sports Network uh, player of the game, sponsored by Sports Connection in Hyden, Kentucky, is going to be Hazard's junior guard, Nick Ratliff. We'll try to get a word with him after the game here. Nice pass from Holbrook down inside to Combs as he's fouled by Rice. That's going to be two shots for Carson Combs. Yeah, Nick Ratliff, coach, I, I I agree with that. The player of the game, he really got Hazard started off on the right foot. He did. Uh, you know, he went out early in the second quarter with some foul trouble, came back in and played real well in the third quarter, and uh, one of the big reasons Hazard's well in control here tonight. Played a good defense. Uh, played a good defensive game as well. Good floor game, and a, a perfect four for four from the free throw line. Three three pointers. Hard to argue with numbers like that. Not a bad night's work. Not a bad night at the office for the junior guard. Carson Combs gets the free throws to go. Buckhorn has it. We're under one minute to play. Cameron Miller with it up top. Skip pass over to Ethan Huff. Tries to get it down inside to Morris, but it's knocked out of bounds. Possession will remain with the Wildcats. Miller with it over to Huff. Back to Miller. Thought about the three. Gets it over the right wing to Stamper. He'll let one fly. No good. Rebound pulled down by Watts of Hazard. Holbrook with it. Down the paint. Over to Maggard. Maggard with a left-hand dribble. Kicks it back to Holbrook. There's another Bulldog turnover. Here comes Buckhorn down the lane. Shot was put up by Rice, no good. Scrum controlled by Hazard and another turnover by the Bulldogs. And that's going to do it as the horn sounds and puts this one to an end. Hazard's going to win in advance by a score of 73-42 to over the Buckhorn Wildcats. We'll try to get a word with Nick Ratliff. You want to interview him, Coach? Uh, Yeah, sure. We're going to be coming through here just shortly as Hazard making their third straight trip to the 54th District Championship as they win in advance once again over the Buckhorn Wildcats. Once again, our player of the game is going to be Nick Ratliff of Hazard. The East Kentucky Sports Network. And... uh, and there goes Nick. So we didn't get a word with Nick Ratliff, but we'll try to track him down and give him his award. Yeah, no, so uh, so hard to hear in here, and, yeah, and he was already heading to the locker room. And not a traditional handshake line. It sort of stopped before they got to us, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll get Nick his award and uh, try to get a picture with him. But we definitely want to recognize him for his accomplishments here. Fantastic game for. Nick, along with the rest of his Bulldog teammates, as they get the 73 to 42 victory over Buckhorn. And coach, like you said, Hazard looks good going into this championship game. Yeah, they just so smooth, and and uh, like we've said many times tonight, they were efficient, businesslike, took care of the ball. So they were just they were just what they did what good teams do. So there's 20 minutes on the clock as we get set for game number two tonight. We'll send it. Back to the station for a break. When we come back, 
We'll preview game number two tonight between Perry County Central and Leslie County. Try to get a word with both coaches as we are set for game number two here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. If your pops are broke, your hot water's a joke. Who you gonna call? And your drains won't drain, driving you insane. Who can you call? Call 233-5936. Call 233-5936. You better call Todd. Introducing Fazoli's new stuffed shell. Jumbo pasta shell stuffed with four Italian cheeses, smothered in our signature sauces, then topped with mozzarella and baked in bubbly perfection. Try our garlic shrimp stuffed shells topped with plump shrimp marinated in a delicious garlic parmesan sauce. Our four cheese shells packed with your favorite Italian cheeses, parmesan, ricotta, mozzarella, and romano. Or our stuffed shell duo paired with baked fettuccine alfredo. Enjoy our stuffed shells with our signature garlic breadsticks today. Only at Fazoli's. Limited time only. Price and participation may vary by location. Unlimited breadsticks. Dining on not including Fazoli's and logo are federally registered trademarks of Fazoli System Management, LLC. Don't spend another minute suffering from pain. Let the staff at Fugit Family Chiropractic provide you with the leading-edge technology and proven techniques for optimum pain relief and minimal recovery time. If you suffer from chronic neck or lower back pain, headaches, herniated or bulging discs, or even degenerative disc disease, let our highly knowledgeable and experienced team help you. Fugit Family Chiropractic in Hazard and Whitesburg. No referral needed, and walk-ins are welcome. Your hometown's where you want to raise your family. For Tanner Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, here's Daryl Billings. Zero percent financing for up to 72 months. Huge rebates, great trade-in allowances, and accommodating friendly service is what we're all about at Tanner Dodge in Stanton. We'll go the extra mile to get you the best deal possible and make your buying experience positive. Over 83% of the people we have sold to in the past few years have returned to buy from us again. Come see why. You'll be glad you did. Come on home to see Tanner Dodge Chrysler Jeep. Do you want to take your career to the next level? LKLP Community Action is ready and able to help you identify and prepare for new career opportunities. We offer services including career advising, skill assessments, resume writing, job searches and referrals, and even job training. We also help remove barriers to employment, such as lack of transportation, child care, or other obstacles. Contact our workforce team today and let us help you evaluate your career. Call 606-436-3161 or visit lklp.org. In partnership with Kentucky Education and Workforce Development Cabinet through EKSEP. It should be easy to get health care you can trust close to home. That's exactly what UK Healthcare's North Fork Valley Community Health Center in Hazard is designed for. With a variety of services under one roof, from primary care to behavioral health, and an on-site pharmacy and lab to make it even more convenient for you. It's a provider that treats everyone regardless of ability to pay, all backed by the expertise of UK Healthcare. So you and your family can get healthy and stay healthy. Learn more at UKHealthcare.com slash hazard. Welcome back, everyone, to Leslie County High School here at the Richard M. Nixon Center. Jeff Campbell and Randy Napier. Coach Napier is actually down on the court right now, ready to get a word with both coaches. And we don't know who he's going to go with first, but Coach Napier looks like it's going to be be John Noble. Take it away, Coach. Run to their belt. Uh, everybody healthy tonight, uh, Coach Noble. Everybody's healthy as far as I know. What about you, Coach? As far as we know, all good. So that's how you ask for get out of here get after. I know everybody's excited. Uh, uh, opening game of the day. Forward to you guys, and I know that. Look, let you get back to work here. I appreciate it, Coach. All right, all righty, that's Coach Napier. Brief word with, with both coaches, having a little trouble with the microphone, but uh, we'll be ready to roll 16 minutes away from tip-off, and we'll send it back to the station for another commercial break. When we come back, we'll have uh, some stats and analysis, break down these two teams, and get you ready for the second game of tonight's doubleheader right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. 
Make plans now to attend the biggest event in East Kentucky, the 29th annual Save-A-Lot Race Day. Saturday, April 6, 12 to 4 p.m. in the Perry County Central High School parking lot. Admission is free. Games, prizes, music, food, and of course, dirt cars, rat rods, carts, drag cars, classic cars, show cars, motorcycles, anything welcome. Come see all your favorite local race cars and drivers. Bring the kids for some great pictures. Enjoy the cookout and benefit auction with hundreds of items to be auctioned. Since 1919, Mine Service Company has been servicing the coal mining industry with quality general mine supplies. Mine Service Company offers a wide range of products including electrical cable, mine roof support material, lubricants, conveyor belts, and structure, drain pipe, underground miner cap lights. They even have muck and Matterhorn boots and a wide selection of knee pads. Mine Service, locally owned on Highway 15 just south of Hazard, also with a branch on Business 23 in Wise, Virginia. Celebrating over 100 years in the mining industry, Mine Service Company. When you're looking for high quality at a fair price, shotguns, rifles, handguns, ammo, jewelry, electronics, go with the winner, JT's Gun and Pawn. Stock up now all the ammo and gear you're going to need. A nice selection of jewelry, electronics, oh yeah, TVs, iPads, laptops, game systems, all at low prices at JT's. JT's Gun and Pawn, open 9 to 5 Monday through Friday, 9 to 2 on Saturdays, 439-4347. Welcome back once again, folks, to... The boys' 54th district opening night right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Coach Napier has went and got our player of a game for the first game, uh, Mr. Nick Ratliff. And Nick will – Coach Napier is going to – I'll go ahead and get a word with uh, Nick Ratliff. Nick, first of all, uh, congratulations on the win. We You've been chosen uh, as our – East Kentucky Sports Network player of the game. It's sponsored by Sports Connection uh, on the back. And uh, just thought that you really had a, a nice game. You got to, you got your team started off well. You hit a couple big threes starting off. How important is you? How important is it for you guys to get off on that good start? You know, I think it's just uh, it's really important. But we come out and just shared the ball well. I thought, and uh, we got them open shots early. My teammates done a great job of finding me open, and I just hit the shot. We, Coach Napier and I, one of the, and we've known Coach Holland for a long time, but we, we've noticed that you all, your whole team, when you warm up the pregame, during the game, you all are very businesslike. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it's your goal as a team to come out here and, and win this 54th district tournament, and now you're just one step closer. How important is that to you guys? Oh, definitely. It's, uh, it's, it's really important for us to win this. It's going to be a big game. Whoever wins this one, it's going to be a tough game no matter who we play. We got to come out and just execute. Well, I, I thought you your your team played really well. You got off to a good start. Evan Sean had a nice game. Uh, Seth had a phenomenal game. Uh, certainly hope Evan Sean's okay after that sprained ankle. Looked like he stepped on a guy's foot. How's he doing? Yeah, I don't know much about it. He was back in the locker room had an ice pack on us. So I just hope he can get back. We really need him. Well, he's 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 a tough guy. And you all have a tough team, and I thought you played very well tonight. And uh, Congratulations on being named player of the game. Congratulations on the win, and good luck Thursday in the district championship. Once again, that's Nick Ratliff. He was our East Kentucky Sports Network player of the game as his Bulldogs get a opening 54th district win as they defeated Buckhorn tonight. Uh, Got game number two on the way. We're still 11 minutes and 50 seconds away from tip-off. We'll send it back to the station for a quick break. Let Coach Napier join us back here at the scores table. And when we come back, we'll have all the stats and analysis to get you ready for game number two tonight right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Your vintage helmet turns heads. Your leather jacket has more zippers than a blue jean factory. Your fingerless gloves fit you like a, well, you know. No doubt about it, owning a motorcycle makes you look cool, but insuring it with Kentucky Farm Bureau makes you look smart. You even get a multi-policy discount if you're already a Kentucky Farm Bureau customer. Kentucky Farm Bureau, now offering motorcycle insurance. Please give a call Janet Smith, Kentucky Farm Bureau Agency Manager, or Agents Major Gabbard and Chase Smith. 
Kentucky Mountain Health Alliance East Kentucky Chiropractic wants to remind you about their Sports Injury Recovery Clinic. Dr. Dale Williams has been providing treatment for sports injuries of all kinds for over 20 years, offering individualized treatments utilizing x-ray and therapies like cold laser, e-stem, and manipulation. East Kentucky Chiropractic can get you off the sidelines and back into the game. Schedule an appointment today with Dr. Williams or Dr. Fields. Call 606-487-9505. We accept most insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. Thinking of buying a home? Maybe you're a little anxious about taking that first step. Maybe you want to sell your current home, but you just don't know where to start. Drop the anxiety. Why not get help from someone who happens to know the housing market better than anyone in our area? Someone who has already helped many first-time buyers as well as long-time homeowners. Michelle Jones, your local REMAX realtor. Michelle is ranked in the nation's top agents and serves your area. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, the right agent can lead the way. Michelle Jones, REMAX. Call 233-4185. Sometimes the world can be a scary place. When it comes to legal matters, most times it's hard to tell which way to turn. Trust the law office of David A. Johnson. Have you been injured? Car, coal truck, motorcycle accident, wrongful death, insurance companies not willing to pay? David A. Johnson, Justin Noble, and Michael Johnson will fight for you. Located at 461 Main in Hazard, the best choice. Call 435-1552. Visit online at davidajohnsonlaw.com or on Facebook. This is an advertisement. Welcome back once again, folks, to opening night of the Boys 54th District Tournament here at Leslie County High School, the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center, Coach Wendell Wilson Court. Game number two on hand, Jeff Campbell, Coach Randy Napier, set to bring you all the action between the Perry Central Commodores and the Leslie County Eagles coach. Uh, the first game started off, you know, it was close, hazard pulled away, big, big win at the end. Uh, what are you looking forward to in this game? Well, you know, look at, looking at the season, uh, Perry Central uh, ha- uh, handled handled Leslie County uh, pretty easily both times. And uh, last time, I think it was February 15th there, uh, got a win over here at Leslie, 68-33. And, and uh, Leslie County uh, is comfortable playing here, irregardless of what that score was. They're comfortable playing in their gym. And John Noble's going to have them ready. I, I expect them to come out here with a lot of emotion. I think you're right. I think Perry Central has to be able to handle that emotion. Uh, you know, like you said, Perry Central owns two wins over uh, Leslie County in a regular season. But it doesn't take long. Rewind to last night. You know, Leslie County's girls had two wins over Hazard's girls. And yeah. Hazard came out and really – uh, answer the bell, put on a big performance, and got a big win. So Perry Central, you know, it's, it's not going to be a cakewalk. And like you said, Coach, Leslie County is a much better team here at the Nixon Center. Yes, they are. And, and you know, uh, and I'm sure uh, Coach Noble's telling them, you know, this is a one-game season now, guys. Don't matter what happened last month or the month before. Well, the only thing that matters is tonight now. And, then, and his kids are going to buy into that, and they'll be hard to handle. Uh, I mean, Coach Hoskins, same way, I'm sure he's warning his guys, look, you're going to see an emotional Leslie County team come at you guys. You better match that emotion with some toughness and go out there and, and do the things that we've done well so far. And and one of the things that you have to do, and I thought Hazard done a phenomenal j- job of this in the first game, they executed. They set screens, they made passes, they got comfortable, and they were able to make shots. And you know, in a big emotional game, a game like this where the loser, you know, their season's over. You know, yeah. you ha- you have to rely on your fundamentals. You have to rely on your execution. And I think the team that can do that best here tonight is going to come out on top. Yeah, and then, like you said, that thought process, knowing that, that your season can end tonight, makes a lot of players react differently. There's two different ones. <laughs> Make sure we get Nick Ratliff the correct plaque <laughs> yeah. for the player of the game. Uh, but you're right, Coach, and it's, uh, you know, you got to execute. you got to take care of the basketball. And if you do those things, you knock down shots. Look at a couple of players. Leslie County has two phenomenal scores, Jaden Hacker and Jesse Hoskins. Both right. of those young men averaging right around 14 points a game. And, you know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of Leslie County games this year. When those two guys get going, good things happen for the Eagles. Yeah, and they need both of them. They need both of them to, to, to show up big and uh, and and really have good scoring nights if they're going to stay with the Commodores. You know, in Perry Central, on the other hand, you've got you know you got the 
uh, guys that have, that have scored well for them uh, this year, Carter Castle, Kaiser Sloan, Trayton Woods, uh, those guys have to have big nights as well for Perry Central to have success. They do. One of the things that I look for Perry Central to do is really attack the paint. Carter Castle, 63% from the field this year. Kaiser Sloan, 51% from the field this year. So those two guys are shooting it at a high clip. If you can get them the ball in the paint in a position where they can score, more often than not, they're going to put the ball in the basket. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're looking for a good matchup tonight. Trayton Woods, you mentioned him for Perry Central. He's averaging 15 a game. He's shooting 51% from the field, 33% from behind the three-point line, and 89.5 from the free throw line. Woods, great free throw shooter. And on top of that, he's one of those guys that he does not have range. No. Anywhere across midcourt is his range. And, 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 you know, Coach Hoskins giving him the green light. You know, if you're confident enough, uh, fired up there looking at some team stats, Perry Central scoring, or excuse me, uh, 48.9% from the field as a team, 358 from behind the three-point line, 72.8 from the free throw line. They're scoring. 68.9 points a game, giving up 61.2 good points a game. Leslie County, 41% from the field, 30% from the three-point line, 62% from the free throw line. They're scoring 57 a game and giving up 55 a game. So if Perry Central, you know, they're, they're going to want to push the pace. They're going to want to get those shots up there to really put that pressure on the Leslie County defense. And uh, Leslie County probably wants to slow it down a little bit and uh, make Perry Central earn everything they can on the offensive end. Yeah, this is going to, this is going to be a good matchup uh, as usual. And one of these teams in, uh, in 32 minutes uh, away from from getting into the championship game on Thursday night. So, you know, the kids are excited. Uh, the coaches are excited. It's, uh, it's just a fun time. Perry County Central uh, looking to coach. You know, they were the district runners-up last year uh, in 2021-2020. Uh, they were the district champions five consecutive years, 2015 to 2019. Uh, and again, in 2022, Leslie County, they've not made a trip to the regional tournament since 2013. So, you know, the Eagles, like you said, Coach, they're going to come out hungry tonight, thinking they got a chance to win. Uh, and the Commodores got to prove it otherwise. Yeah, this would be – this would be a, a really big win for Leslie County's program. They, you know, like you said, they haven't been in the regional tournament in a while. And if they can pick up a win tonight, get to the championship game, it's a step. It's a step up in their program. Oh, and I'm sure they're. I'm sure John Noble's pointing that out to his players. And that, that's that's one of the reasons Leslie County hired John Noble. You know, they knew that he yep. had that uh, tradition. He, he he'd had a lot of success over at Buckhorn. Uh, building that program up and had a lot of success over there and doing the same thing. I, I, I always say about, you know, Coach Noble and Coach Hoskins, they're two of the better, you know, younger coaches in the region. But they're my age. They're not young anymore. They're not they're, young they're, anymore. They're veterans. These guys have been around a while now. I can remember a time when all of you all were young coaches. <laughs> Two minutes and 30 seconds to tip this one off. We'll send it back to the station. For one more break, when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups for you and all the action of the second game on tonight's 2024 54th District Boys Tournament right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. In Kentucky, basketball is a long-standing tradition steeped in championship history. We at Kemper Furniture are proud to be able to support the Big Blue Nation on WSGS. Come see us at Kemper Furniture and shop all the winning brands that have stood the test of time. And let our all-star team help you choose the best seat in the house. Kemper Furniture, families serving families since 1963. Quality Care Medical Equipment and Scrubs in Hazard can meet all your needs. From medical equipment like diabetic shoes, post-mastectomy supplies, wheelchairs, crutches, canes, walkers, and more, to a wide variety and extended size scrub uniforms like Med Couture, Healing Hands, Gray's Anatomy, and Cherokee. They also carry nursing shoes, medical accessories, Lipman products, Vera Bradley, and more. Stop in and let them know how they can help you today at Quality Care Medical Equipment and Scrubs. 
Nobody beats the Big Kahuna. East Kentucky's world-class premier car wash, giving you the ultimate car wash, the most modern and advanced car wash experience available today. Check out the new ceramic car wash option. It's incredible. Big or small, they clean them all. Nobody beats the Big Kahuna car wash. Located next to Fazoli's in Hazard. Single washer memberships are available. Free vacuums with wash or memberships. For East Kentucky's best car wash, remember the The Big Big Kahuna. Kahuna. East Kentucky Carpet One has been serving Eastern Kentucky for more than 45 years. And we are proud to say that we are still here with the same quality family-owned business. We have experience in commercial and residential properties with a fully stocked warehouse. We also have access to luxury vinyl waterproof flooring, tile, carpet, and much more. Professional installation is also available. Stop by East Kentucky Carpet at 204 Willie's Way or give us a call at 606-439-3858. East Kentucky Carpet One. Welcome back once again. Again, folks, as we are getting set for starting lineups in tonight's second game here in the opening round of the boys' 54th District Tournament, Leslie County and Perry County Central. When we're ready, we'll send it over to the public address announcer for tonight's starting lineups. I'm going to welcome to the Richard M. Nixon Center and Coach Wendell Wilson Court for 54th District Tournament Action featuring the Commodores of Perry County Central High School. And your Leslie County Eagles. And now let's meet the starting lineups. First for the visitors on the scoreboard, the Perry County Central Commodores. At guard, a 5'11 sophomore, number 23, Mason Sumner. At guard, a 5'8", junior, number 13, Tyson Neese. At guard, a 5'10", junior, number 11, Trayton Woods. At forward, a 6'1", junior, number 1, Carter Castle. And at forward, a 6'3", senior, number 4, Kaiser Sloan. The Commodores are coached by Shannon Hoskins. Six foot two freshman number five, Jaden Hacker. At guard, a five foot seven sophomore number 11, Jesse Hoskins. At guard, a five foot nine senior number three, Dylan Smith. At forward, a six foot one senior number 14, Ty Myers. And at forward, a six foot three, senior number four, Gage Witt. The Eagles are coached by John Noble. The officials for tonight's game are Jimmy Cecil, Roger Fairchild, and Keith Morgan. So there you heard it, folks. The starter starting lineups for the Commodores, Tyson Neese, Mason Sumner, Trayton Woods, Carter Castle, and Kaiser Sloan. And for the Eagles, the first time I've seen this starting lineup, for Leslie County, Dylan Smith, Gage Witt, Jaden Hacker, Jesse Hoskins, and Ty Myers. Myers and uh, Witt are going to give a little size to the Eagles as they try to contain Sloan and Castle for the Commodore. Yeah. And Perry Central, the visiting team tonight, even though they're the higher seed in the alternate gray uni- uniforms, trimmed in red and white, Leslie County in their Old gold alternate uniforms trimmed in maroon. Balls in the air. Tip is controlled by Leslie County. We're underway. Dylan Smith with it. Crosses the timeline. Trying to get it to Hacker. Hacker over to Myers. Myers to Hoskins. Hoskins up top to Witt. Perry holding up man-to-man as they usually do. Back over to Smith. Now Myers has it. Leslie County turned their offense over, has nothing, backed it out, trying again. Myers down the lane, tries to get it to Witt. Ball was kicked out of bounds, last touch by the Commodores. 
Coach John Noble calling out the play. Perry Central going to stay man-to-man here underneath the basket, Coach. Leslie County running the flex, and there's going to be a good look for Hacker. Long three on the way, and it's good. Jaden Hacker making the Commodores pay. Yeah, good start for Leslie County. It's a good set out of bounds. They sort of like they're going to run that flex and bring Hacker out to the top. He's one for one. Commodores with it. Nice. Tries to get it in a high post to Castle. Turns it over. Here comes Hacker. Over to Hoskins. Shot fake. Long three. No good. Rebound by Witt. And it's going to be a jump ball. Possession's going to go to the Commodores. That's what Witt does. He didn't get that rebound, but he was in there fighting for it. Yeah. Yeah, he was in good, in good position and made a play. Defense! Defense! Perry Central basketball. Defense! Nice with it. Over to Woods. Woods penetrates down the lane. The running floater up no good. Rebound pulled down by Leslie County's Gage Witt. Gets it off to Hoskins, and Hoskins called for steps. Turnover is going to give it back to the Commodores. Turnover is one of the things that frustrated Coach Noble all year long. He thinks Leslie County has too many of them. Look for Perry Central to try to exploit that tonight. I'm sure they will defensively. Castle with it in the right corner. Back up top to Nice. Over to Woods, back to Nice. Tyson Nice, 15-footer, no good. Rebound pulled down by Castle. Shot fake, puts it up and in. And the foul. Nice offensive rebound and put back by Carter Castle. It's on Gage Witt. That's going to be his first. Carter Castle to the line. Free throws no good. Rebound pulled down by Jaden Hacker of Leslie County. You know, Jeff, Carter Castle's a little undersized. He's not a real big guy, but he plays big. He's big through the shoulder. Uses his body well. We'll have an offensive foul. No, we're going to have – sorry, I thought he pointed that way. So the foul is going to be on Tyson Nice. It's one of those fouls that was away from the ball. Yeah. I was I was ball watching. Witt takes it down the lane, puts the runner up, no good. Rebound by Sloan of the Commodores. That's going to be a jump ball. Gage Witt missed the layup. The rebound was pulled down by Kaiser Sloan. Witt comes in, ties him back up, gives the ball back to Leslie County. Yeah, he, he's, he is a difference maker so far in this game. Six minutes and three seconds left here in the first quarter. Leslie County on top, three to two. Smith with it over to Hacker. Hacker dribbles it back up top, gives it to Dylan Smith. Hand off to Hacker. Hacker to Myers. Ty Myers up top, directing traffic. Tries to get inside to Hacker. Throws it away. Turnover. Gives it back to Perry Central. Yeah, Leslie Kenny, like you said, they've struggled not turning the ball over, and, and they've already made a couple of really not – they weren't forced turnovers either. Ty Sinise, that last possession, was being guard, was guarding Hacker. They were trying to get it in the low post to Hacker. Commodores get it inside to Sloan. Spins, tries to get the shot up. No good. Gets it to Sumner. Sumner on the drive, puts it up and in. First basket for Mason Sumner. Nice drive to the goal, too. Here comes Smith for Leslie County. Gets it into Gage Witt. Backs it out to the three-point line. Now to Myers. Myers over to Hoskins. Hoskins being guarded by Woods out in the jump circle. Picks up his dribble. Gets it to Witt. Witt down the lane. Puts a shot up on Castle. No good. Rebounded by Kaiser Sloan. Here come the Commodores. Sloan to Nice. Now the Perry Central Commodores slow it ahead. They're up one point. Four to three. Four fifty-two left in the first quarter. Sumner to Woods. Woods back to Sumner. To Nice. Down inside. It's Castle back up top. To Woods. Calling out for a screen. Thought about the three-pointer. Decides better of it. Woods over to Sumner. He'll let one fly from deep in the right corner. Air ball. Rebound pulled down by Witt. Here comes Hacker in a hurry. Hacker pulls up 15-footer. Good. Jaden Hacker, two for two tonight. Hacker, two for two, and Witt with three rebounds already. Five points for Hacker. Leslie County on top, five to four. Trayton Woods with it. Over to Nice. To Carter Castle, back to Nice, back to Woods. Woods down the lane, behind the back dribble. 
Now Meese has it. Short corner to Kaiser Sloan. Coach Hoskins wanting somebody to dive in that low post when Sloan catches it in a short corner. There's a turnover. Woods left his feet. Hoskins loses the ball. He'll let a long three-pointer go, and it's good. Lost ball. Nobody recovered. Three-pointer from Hoskins. Perry Central takes a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them back after this break here on East Kentucky Sports Network. If you've been injured, Couch and Fugit personal injury lawyers are here to help. Car wrecks, truck wrecks, motorcycle wrecks, wrongful death, slip and falls, dog bites, they handle it all. Consultations are free, and there's no fee until they win. Offices on Main Street in Hyden and 310 West 5th Street in London. Check them out on Facebook or at couchandfugit.com. Call toll-free at 888-4-CAR-WRECK or locally at 672-7300. For serious injuries, you need serious attorneys. Couch and Fugit in Hyden and in London. Back once again here at Leslie County High School. Leslie County on top of Perry County Central. Coach Napier, and you said it, Leslie County is going to come out with a lot of emotion. And man, they're firing on all cylinders. They right really now. have. They've come out, and, and they are taking the fight to the Commodore. Perry Central basketball down 8-4, to 3-36 left here in the first quarter. Tyson Neese dribbles down the right side, gives it to Woods. Woods goes off the screen of Castle. Crosses over. Myers down the lane. Puts the shot up. No good. Rebound put back up and in by Kaiser Sloan. Nice put back by Sloan. They needed that one. Here comes Leslie in a hurry. Hacker tries the big jump step. He's going to be called for steps. The turnover is going to give it back to the Commodores. But Hacker had a good look. He had a nice head of steam. Probably scored if he doesn't turn it over. Tyson Neese with it over to Mason Sumner. Picked up his dribble and he walked. Well, Leslie County's known for a lot of bluegrass music. Instead of dueling banjos, we've got dueling turnovers here. So far. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Leslie County basketball. Myers with it. Being guarded by Sloan. Up top. Myers waving everybody off. Not really used to handling the ball, not seeing him in this position a whole lot, but he's doing a pretty good job. Picks it up, his dribble, gets it over to Hacker. Very central, the tight man to man. Hacker over to Myers, flex offense. Myers down the lane, working on Castle. Now Dylan Smith has it. Backs it up top, gives it to Hacker. Being guarded by Tyson Neese. Screen coming from Witt, goes over the top, and there's going to be a kick ball by Neese. Possession will stay with the Eagles. Very central, extending that defense to get out and pass the lanes. Myers gets it in from Hacker. 225 left here in the first quarter. Picks it up back to Witt. Witt down inside to Hoskins. Puts up the floater. No good. Rebound Kaiser Sloan. Here comes Trayton Woods. Crosses the timeline in a hurry. Can't get loose from a defender. Backs it out. Woods over to Sloan, back to Woods. Leslie County doing a good job defensively right now, Coach Pierce. Yes, they are. To, they've had to earn everything they've got. Yeah, they haven't had easy looks at all. Nice up top to Sloan. Sloan shot fake, drives down the paint, kicks it to Castle. Ten-footer in the middle of the lane, no good. Ball tipped up, pulled down by Hoskins. Here he goes. He could have a layup. Sumner can't catch up. Puts up and in Jesse Hoskins. Leslie County on top, 10-6. to six. And the longer this goes like this, the more confident Leslie County's going to play, Jeff. Advantage Leslie County. Yeah. Woods gets it, being guarded by Myers. Stat hard jab step, three-pointer. Trayton Woods answers the bell. A little hard jab step. Got Myers to back up. Woods knocked it down. A lot of contact up there, no call. A lot of contact again. Sumner up top guarding Smith. Witt has it. Leslie still running the flex offense. Witt down the lane. Spin move. Gives it to Hacker. Hacker puts the shot up. No good, but he's going to be fouled. It's going to be on number one, Carter Castle. That's his first. Subs coming in for the Commodores. Landon Miller and Bo Bacon. Leslie County yet to make a substitution. 59.2 seconds left in the first quarter. Leslie County on top 10 tonight. 
Watch the last play here a while ago. Hacker hit a three. Yeah. Same deal, Hacker. Yep. Good job by Bo Bacon. Closing out on him. Hacker's going to try to take Bacon off the dribble. Crossing over. Spin move. Sh- shot fake. Max it out. Good defense by Bacon. Now Hacker's calling for a screen. Here comes Witt. Castle goes out, jumps the screen, and a turnover by Leslie County, but we're going to have a foul. And that's going to be a second foul on Witt. Yeah, foul on Witt going for the loose ball. It's a good job by Carter Castle jumping out and yeah, well, it was. edging that on ball really screen. Was. Bo Bacon played good defense there. He's so long that Bo can, Bo can cause people problems with his length. Perry Central basketball, Landon Miller. Up top to Sloan, over to Castle. Left corner to Bacon. Here comes Woods, three-pointer left wing. It's good. Good. Back-to-back three-pointers for Trayton Woods. Perry Central leads for the first time tonight, 12 to 10. Hacker, hard runner down the lane, puts it up no good, but he's fouled, and he's going to go to the free throw line. That's going to be on Bacon. Hacker to the line. Hacker looks a little winded. He does, yeah. First free throw on the way is good. First substitute coming in of the game tonight for Leslie County, number one, Jesse Osborne. Second free throw from Hacker is good as well. Clock winds under 10 seconds. Tied up 12 apiece. Here comes Woods. Goes off the double screen. Over to Sloan. Down the lane. Two, one at the buzzer. No good. We've played one quarter, and we're all tied up. 12 to 12. We'll take a break and be back for the second quarter here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Are you ready for your dream vacation? Or could it be time for some home repairs? Maybe you just want to consolidate some bills. Whatever the reason, now is the time for a loan at Hyden Citizens Bank. We offer everything from mortgage and home equity loans and auto loans to small personal and consumer loans. Whatever you need, Hyden Citizens Bank is here to be your lending solution. Give us a call at 672-2344 to set up an appointment. Hyden Citizens Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Just what the doctor ordered, 24 hours a day. One Stop Market in Stennett. Whether your car needs a fill-up or you need a fill-up, One Stop Market is just what you need. Hamburgers, hoagies, Philly cheese, steak, and pizza, plus an incredible breakfast menu. Short orders prepared around the clock. Gasoline, food, groceries, the name says it all. One Stop Market in Stennett, a Friends of Cole business. Stop in and see Amy and the crew. Your business is always sincerely appreciated. One Stop Market. Welcome back once again, folks, here at the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center at Leslie County High School. Jeff Campbell and Randy Napier bringing you game two of tonight's doubleheader between Perry County Central and Leslie County. Coach, we played one quarter. We're all tied up. Yeah, nothing decided for sure. Uh, Leslie County came out the way we thought they would. A lot of, lot of emotion. Perry Central uh, kept their wits. <coughs> excuse me. Kept their wits about them and uh, came back, tied the game up. Uh, and uh, we got ourselves a ball game. Perry Central basketball. Trayton Woods with it. He's being guarded by Dylan Smith. Commodore's trying to set the play. Woods over to Castle, over to Bacon. Now here's a little flex set. Bacon to Woods, down inside to Castle. Castle tries to spin move. He's double teamed. Gets it back up top to Woods. Woods dying to shoot another three. He's already hit two tonight. That's going to be a little contact. That's probably going to be on Myers. That's going to be on Ty Myers. That's going to be his first. A lot of the folks. Woods is a tough matchup for any of the Leicester County defenders. He's so quick. He's he's quick and he handles the ball. And if you back up off of him too much and respect that speed, he's just going to make a three-pointer. He's just a really good shooter. Castle with it up top over to Woods. Shot fake. Hop step down the lane. Puts it up no good. Rebound by Osborne. Here comes the Eagles. Hoskins puts the shot up over Bacon. It's in. Nice finish by Jesse Hoskins. Here come the Commodores. Long three left wing. Woods, no good. Rebound fought for. Pulled down by the Commodores. Put up, pulled back down by Sloan. Puts it up. No good. Here come the Eagles. Hoskins with it. Moves on Miller, and he's going to be fouled and will go to the free throw line. 
It's going to be the first foul on Landon Miller. And boy, it got physical this last trip down. I think both teams are like being a little more aggressive, thinking they're going to get the call. Yeah. Not getting the call. <laughs> Hoskins at the free throw line makes the first. He'll have another. Yeah, I think both teams were surprised these last couple trips that they weren't getting foul calls. Second free throw from Jesse Hoskins is no good. He's a 77.5% free throw shooter. Leslie County leads 15 to 12. Commodores, Landon Miller with it over to Woods. Woods tries to get inside to Sloan. Ball's batted away. Miller has it deep in the left corner. Goes off the screen of Castle. Sloan gets it inside Carter Castle, puts a shot up, no good. And he's all called for the Ooh. offensive foul. Hacker slides in, and that foul on Carter Castle is going to be his second. So the player control foul will give it back to Leslie County. They're on top 15 to 12 with a chance to extend the lead. And Perry Central can ill afford Carter Castle not being out out there at almost nonstop. They're leaving him in with two fouls right now. Coach Hoskins rolling the dice. Myers with it on the left wing. Gets it to Hacker. Being guarded by Bacon. Hacker hands it off to Dylan Smith. Bacon switches on him. Now they're trying to switch back to another defender. A little matchup zone now from the Commodores coach. Dylan Smith back to Hacker. Coach Noble calling out the play baseline. Leslie County trying to get in it. Smith over to Hoskins. Fakes the three. Back up top to Smith. Leslie County being patient offensively. 15 to 12, a slow scoring game. Definitely in favor of Leslie County. Osborne with it. Tries to get it inside to Hoskins. Now gets it over to Myers. Flex offense. Dylan Smith. Thought about the three, now Hoskins has it. Hoskins calling out the screen, down the lane, kicks it to Smith, back to Hacker. Hacker crosses over between the legs, being guarded by Woods. Ball's tipped away, nearly five second count. Woods goes down, not sure what happened there. Shot fake by Hacker, spin move, down the lane, puts the floater up, no good, rebound. Pull down by the Commodores. Here comes Perry Central. They have numbers. Sloan. There are lots of contacts. Still no call. And Hacker, who knocked, knocked down, picks up and a long pass. Lays it in. Coach Hoskins calls a timeout. We'll take it with them. It's a full timeout. Leslie County on top, 17-12. to 12. Back after this break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Are your immunizations up to date? Did you know that the CDC recommends that healthy adults 50 years and older get two doses of the shingles vaccine two to six months apart to prevent shingles and the complications from the disease? The Medicine Shop Pharmacy might invite you to talk to their pharmacist, Peyton Noble, about the immunizations you need for the entire family. No appointments are necessary, and they accept most insurance plans. It's all about health and convenience for you and your family. It's just one more way our community can rely on the Medicine Shop Pharmacy of Hyden. Give them a call at 606-672-8705 or stop by and see them on Main Street in Hyden today. Thinking of buying a home? Maybe you're a little anxious about taking that first step. Maybe you want to sell your current home, but you just don't know where to start. Drop the anxiety. Why not get help from someone who happens to know the housing market better than anyone in our area? Someone who has already helped many first-time buyers as well as long-time homeowners. Michelle Jones, your local REMAX realtor. Michelle is ranked in the nation's top agents and serves your area. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, the right agent can lead the way. Michelle Jones, REMAX. Call 233-4185. Welcome back, folks, to the Richard M. Nixon Center. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier. Coach, we've played uh, three minutes and nine seconds here in the second quarter, and it's been all Leslie County. Yeah, and, and you know, like I mentioned, Jeff, the, the longer Leslie County is, is controlling this pace and they're staying in the lead, the more confident they're becoming. Let Perry Central having a tough time scoring against this. Leslie County defense. They really are. They're having a tough time. Perry Central with a basketball. Woods with it. He'll let a three-pointer go from top of the key, and it's good. That's Woods' third three-pointer of the night. 17 to 15 is the score. Leslie County basketball. Hacker with it. Crosses the timeline. 
Gets it over to Vanscoy, who checked in at the timeout. Vanscoy over to Smith on the right wing. Smith to Vanscoy in the low post. Makes the move on Castle. Kicks it out to Hoskins. Now back to Vanscoy. Vanscoy calling out the play. Carter Castle's got to stay away from that third foul, too, for Perry Central. Hacker with it near the volleyball line. Being defended by Bacon. Spin move. Tries to get down the lane. Ball is knocked away by Bacon, but controlled. And again, Bacon's length is, is such a factor defensively. Hacker drives down the lane, puts up the floater. It's good. Hacker likes to get to that right hand. And when he's able to do that, he's a very efficient scorer yes, around the basket. Is. Woods with it over to Bacon. In the corner to Miller. Back to Bacon. Bacon skips it over to Woods. Shot fake down the lane. Puts the runner up and in. Trading Woods. Give him two more. I think Coach Hoskins is wanting to pick up the press. It's going to be a five-second call. Turnover by Leslie County. Give it back to the Commodores. Yeah. Perry Central playing a lot of people, too. They, they're running subs in it, keeping fresh bodies out there. Tyler Robinson checking in for the first time for Perry Central. It'll be a 30-second timeout taken by Leslie County. We'll take it with them. We'll be back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Looking for fast, easy, and secure electronic banking? Community Trust Bank has a wide variety of banking services to meet your needs, including internet banking, bill pay, and mobile banking. We now have even more great services like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Make payments directly from your smartphone. And Zelle, a fast, easy, secure way to send and receive money from your smartphone. Visit us on the internet at ctbi.com or stop by and see us at one of our 79 branch offices. Community Trust Bank, building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back, folks. It will be Perry Central Basketball underneath their own basket. Three minutes, ten seconds left here in the second quarter. Leslie County on top of the Commodores, 19-17. to Nice sets the trigger in, throws it underneath. Could not see who that was. That was Carter Castle. He was fouled. That, yeah, he got inside of his defender. It's going to be on Vanscoy, and that foul will send Carter Castle to the free throw line. He'll have two shots. For the Commodores on the floor, they will have number 11, Trayton Woods, number 23, Mason Sumner, Tyson Neese, number 13, number 5, Tyler Robinson, and number 1, Carter Castle. Trent Rosham checking in for the first time tonight for Leslie County. He'll be out there with Jesse Hoskins, Ty Myers, Jesse Osborne, and number 5, Jaden Hacker. Second free throw on the way from Castle's no good. Bounce off pulled down by Myers. Being guarded by Robinson. Nearly a turnover. Good defense by Robinson. Step through the lane. Shot put up blocked by the Commodores, but Ty Myers gets his own rebound. Picks up his dribble. Ball's taken away, deflected, and stolen. Tyler Robinson, Robinson. being aggressive. Woods over to Sumner, deep in the corner. Tyson Neese, long three-pointer, no good. Rebound tipped. Can't be controlled. Here come the Eagles. Jaden Hacker with it. Down the lane. Spin move. Puts it up and in. Nice, strong finish by Jaden Hacker. Leslie County on top, 21-18, 225 left here in the second quarter. Trayton Woods with it, being guarded by Hoskins. Crosses over between the legs, gets it to Sloan. Kicks it in the right corner. Thought Robinson was going to shoot the three, but not Sloan. Gets it over to Castle. Castle puts it up and in. Excuse me, that was Sumner. Gets it over to Castle. Yeah, that was a nice nice play by Sumner there to get that ball to Carter Castle where he could do something with it. Ball's dribbled off the foot. Now Myers picks up his dribble. Castle with a steal. Carter Castle over to Robinson. Puts it up no good. Ball's fought for out of bounds. Last touch by the Commodores. Big Leslie County basketball. Perry Central's working, working really hard on defense. They just cannot get over the hump and, and take the lead. They've got within one three straight times. Couldn't tell if Robinson, he missed that one. I thought he maybe should have used the backboard, or I couldn't really tell if he did. But either way, it'll be Leslie County basketball. They get it into Hacker. He's being guarded by Tyson Neese. Goes behind his back. Working hard. Finally gets it across the timeline. Neese. Hacker. Over to Osborne. 
Osborne gets it to Jesse Hoskins. To Dylan Smith in the left corner. Leslie County up top to Rosham. Back to Hacker. Hacker down the left side. Thought about a shot. Lost the handle. Very central play. It's some hard, hard man-to-man right now. Gets control of it. Gets it back to Rosham. He's being guarded by Nice. Over to Osborne. He's being guarded by Sloan. Down the lane is Osborne. He's going to be called for the personal foul for Kaiser Sloan. That's going to be his first. It'll be Leslie County basketball. Underneath their own basket. Sort of blocked the uh, sort of yep, a view. The fouls on Jesse Osborne. I couldn't see my view yeah, was obstructed he, by the referee. He just cleared out with that with his off arm there to get open. Carter Castle checks back in the lineup, replaces Tyler Robinson. Perry Central basketball, 105 left here in the second quarter. Leslie County still on top, 21 to 20. Sumner with it. Over to Sloan. Sloan behind the back dribble, gets it inside to Castle. Castle trying to get it back up top to Sumner. Ball is stolen by Leslie County. Here comes Osborne, gets it over to Rosham. Can't handle it, stolen by Woods. Here come the Commodores. Down the lane is Woods, puts the shot up. No good, but he's fouled. Trayton Woods will go to the line for two shots and a chance to give Perry Central their first lead. Yeah, he had to, he had to fight through a lot of traffic to get there and uh, held on to the ball, got a shot off, and, and couldn't get it to drop, but going to go to the foul line. Leslie County coach turning the basketball over, but like you said earlier, Perry Central not able to capitalize off those turnovers as Woods misses the first free throw. 21-20. seconds left here in the second quarter. Second one on the way from Woods. It's good. Tie ball game, 21 each. Perry Central picking up the full court press. There's there's an offensive foul on Jesse Hoskins. He pushed off. Sure did. Yeah. That's going to be his first, but it's going to give. Coach Noble won the hold. It's going to be a full timeout taken by Leslie County. We'll take it with them. We'll be back after this short break here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. What's in a name anyway? Well, our answer is everything. Because we're the store that puts our promise to you right in our name. Save-A-Lot Food Stores. Now, Save-A-Lot isn't just a name we pick for ourselves. It's a name we've earned by bringing you only the best grocery items, freshest produce, and quality meat available at the best possible value every day. That's Save-A-Lot. Save money at your local Save-A-Lot store in Hazard and in Hyden. Since 1919, Mine Service Company has been servicing the coal mining industry with quality general mine supplies. Mine Service Company offers a wide range of products, including electrical cable, mine roof support material, lubricants, conveyor belts, and structure, drain pipe, underground miner cap lights. They even have muck and Matterhorn boots and a wide selection of knee pads. Mine Service, locally owned on Highway 15 just south of Hazard, also with a branch on Business 23 in Wise, Virginia. Celebrating over 100 years in the mining industry, Mine Service Company. Back to action, folks, here at the Richard M. Nixon Center. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier bringing you a dandy between Leslie County and Perry County Central. We're all tied up. 45.2 seconds left here in the second quarter. It'll be Perry County basketball, Coach. It seems like Perry Central's been fighting an uphill battle, trying to get up, get, trying to take the lead from Leslie County the entire first half, and they've they've fought into a tie ball game, and they got a position here, could go, could take the lead. Les, Leslie County still in a man-to-man defense underneath. Woods with it over on the left wing. Woods over to Tyson Nice. In the corner to Sumner. Got to be careful inside of your Carter Castle. He's got two. Don't want to pick up the third. For Leslie County, the only player with two fouls is Gage Witt, and he's currently not in the game. Perry Central be content to hold for one shot and try to take the lead into halftime. Yep. Worst case scenario, coach, you go in tight. Yeah, and that's that's a good move there. You don't want to push the pace right now. Trayton Woods with it. Going to take the high screen from Castle. Backs it out down the lane. Gets it to Castle, puts it up and in. Carter Castle. Here comes Leslie County. They're going to have a couple seconds. Hacker lets one fly from the other free throw line. Nearly goes in, but we've played one half of basketball. 
Perry Central finds themselves on top by a score of 23 to 21. We'll step away for a short break. When we come back, we'll have halftime stats and analysis and get you set for the second half of basketball right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. When you're looking for high quality at a fair price, shotguns, rifles, handguns, ammo, jewelry, electronics, go with the winner, JT's Gun and Pawn. Stock up now all the ammo and gear you're going to need. A nice selection of jewelry, electronics, oh yeah, TVs, iPads, laptops, game systems, all at low prices at JT's. JT's Gun and Pawn, open 9 to 5 Monday through Friday, 9 to 2 on Saturdays, 439-4347. Nestled in the mountains of Appalachia, along the Purpose Road, is a hidden gem, Alice Lloyd College. For 100 years, ALC has been providing opportunities. Opportunity to learn from the best. Opportunity to work for my education. Opportunity to serve my community. Opportunity to become a leader. Opportunity to find my life's purpose. Apply now to find your purpose at Alice Lloyd College. Your vintage helmet turns heads. Your leather jacket has more zippers than a blue jean factory. Your fingerless gloves fit you like a, well, you know, no doubt about it. Owning a motorcycle makes you look cool, but insuring it with Kentucky Farm Bureau makes you look smart. You even get a multi-policy discount if you're already a Kentucky Farm Bureau customer. Kentucky Farm Bureau, now offering motorcycle insurance. Please give a call Janet Smith, Kentucky Farm Bureau Agency Manager, or Agents Major Gabbard and Chase Smith. February is National Children's Dental Health Month and Little Flower Clinic 279 East Main Street wants to remind you about our dental department. Our professional dental staff performs dental prophylaxis, a procedure performed to clean the teeth thoroughly, an important treatment for halting the progression of periodontal disease and gingivitis. Schedule your kids an appointment for an exam, cleaning, and or sealants. Little Flower Clinic accepts most major insurances, Medicare and Medicaid. Call 487-9505. People's Bank and Trust of Hazard is strongly committed to our community's development, investing in a wide range of business and local organizations. You need the support of a local bank that is looking for ways to help you succeed. That's what People's Bank and Trust is all about. They always have your best interest at heart. People's Bank and Trust of Hazard, strongly committed to our community. Member FDIC. Let's face it, in today's world, it's easy to get the feeling that the world is against you. So it's really nice to know that you do have someone on your side. The Law Offices of David A. Johnson. Accidents and injury law, personal injury, commercial vehicle accidents, criminal and capital offense cases, drug-related cases. David A. Johnson, Justin Noble, and Michael Johnson will fight for you. Call for a free consultation, 435-1552. Visit them at 461 Main Street in Hazard, online at davidajohnsonlaw.com or on Facebook. This is an advertisement. Welcome back, everyone, to the Richard M. Nixon Recreation Center here in downtown Hyden, Kentucky, at Leslie County High School for the opening round of the boys' 54th district tournament. Game number one saw Buckhorn or Buckhorn fall to Hazard. Hazard will advance and move to the district championship. Game number two, a little bit of a different story, Coach Napier. Uh, a little bit of a nail-biter as Perry Central with a narrow two-point lead over Leslie County. Yeah, the, and the Eagles led the entire half right down to the last few seconds of the half. Perry Central finally uh, uh, got over the top and got a two-point lead going into at, at the half. Uh, Trayton Woods for Perry Central leads with 12 points. Uh, Kaiser Sloan, two. Carter Castle, seven. Picked up a couple of fouls, uh, which uh, Perry Central's got to be concerned about. Uh, Mason Sumner with a basket. For Leslie County, you only got two people in the scoring column again. Um, you got uh, Hacker with 13 and Hoskins with eight. Uh, so I'm sure they'd like to see some scoring out of some of their other guys. But their two main uh, main scorers are, are coming through for them. And it's just been a hard-fought battle. Um, you know, for two or three minutes, I felt like Perry Central was going to finally get control of the game. And they just could not get over the hump. And like I said, it took right down to the last possession of the half for Perry Central to take. I believe was that their first lead of the game. It was the first lead of the game, yeah. It, 
you know, Perry Central on the defensive end doing a really good job. They forced Leslie into some turnovers, but they've not been able to convert those turnovers. And Leslie County on the defensive end doing a really good job with the Commodores being physical. Had it not been for Woods hitting three threes, uh, yeah, the Leslie County may be way ahead and well in control of this one. But it, uh, this is uh, this is not a surprise, really. It, it, uh, it's it's not a surprise. Looking at the the, the matchups uh, from these two teams earlier in the season, uh, the 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 game at Leslie on February fifteenth, Perry Central won going away, 68-33. But the first game, the first meeting between these two teams at Perry County Central. It was a 14-point game. Perry Central won yeah. that one, but it was really close like this one throughout the whole game, and uh, Perry Central was able to pull away at the end. So, um, you know, you give John Noble. John Noble's a hard coach to beat three times. Yeah, and, uh, and I, you know, I felt like if the longer Leslie County could, could hold that lead, their confidence was going to grow, and they were going to play stronger and stronger, and that's the way it turned out. Uh, and Perry Central – they're actually fortunate to be ahead by two. They, they really are. And, uh, you know, Coach Hoskins uh, burned a couple timeouts trying to get the, the, the Commodores settled down. But Coach Noble did the same thing with his Eagles. You know, had to call some timeouts, sort of calm, stop the bleeding. And uh, this has been a really well-played basketball game here uh, thus far. Perry Central on top, 23-21 to 21, the winner. Uh, once again, we'll advance to Thursday night's championship game to take on Hazard. That will be at 7 o'clock. I want to remind you tomorrow of our girls' championship game uh, right here at uh, Leslie County High School at 7 o'clock between Perry Central and Hazard. Uh, should be a dandy girls' game. And, uh, once yeah, again, it'll you, be a great matchup in that girls' final. You, you can follow along with uh, all the action right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. If you don't come out, we're on WSGS.com, uh, WSGS on Facebook, and WSGS on YouTube. We definitely want to thank everybody for tuning us in, but want to thank all those sponsors for allowing us to bring these games to you right here live and in color on the East <laughs> Kentucky Sports Network. We're about three minutes away from starting the third quarter. We'll send this one back to the station. You're listening and watching right along here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Kentucky basketball is a long-standing tradition steeped in championship history. We at Kimber Furniture are proud to be able to support the Big Blue Nation on WSGS. Come see us at Kimber Furniture and shop all the winning brands that have stood the test of time. And let our all-star team help you choose the best seat in the house. Kimber Furniture, families serving families since 1963. Did something recently change with your pharmacy? Or are you unsatisfied with your pharmacy service? Consider switching to RX Discount Pharmacy on Morton Boulevard in Hazard. RX Discount Pharmacy offers convenience items, drive through delivery, compound medication, and more. RX Discount Pharmacy has been locally owned and operated for more than 30 years, and they don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. So choose a name you know and can trust at RX Discount Pharmacy. Nobody beats the Big Kahuna. East Kentucky's world-class premier car wash, giving you the ultimate car wash, the most modern and advanced car wash experience available today. Check out the new ceramic car wash option. It's incredible. Big or small, they clean them all. Nobody beats the Big Kahuna car wash. Located next to Fazoli's in Hazard. Single washer memberships are available. Free vacuums with wash or memberships. For East Kentucky's best car wash, remember the The Big Big Kahuna. Kahuna. East Kentucky Carpet One has been serving Eastern Kentucky for more than 45 years, and we are proud to say that we are still here with the same quality family-owned business. We have experience in commercial and residential properties with a fully stocked warehouse. We also have access to luxury vinyl waterproof flooring, tile, carpet, and much more. Professional installation is also available. Stop by East Kentucky Carpet at 204 Willie's Way or give us a call at 606-439-3858. East Kentucky Carpet One. Welcome back once again, folks, to Leslie County High School here at the Nixon Center. Jeff Campbell and Randy Napier bringing you tonight's second game of our doubleheader between Leslie County and Perry County Central. Uh, been just a phenomenal ball game so far, and I'm sure that this uh, third and fourth quarter is going to be the same way. I was getting ready to say, Jeff, I think we're in, we're in for uh, 
for some two teams getting after it here. Uh, now it, they've uh, Perry Central battled to get back ahead. Leslie County's not going to give way. They're going to fight for every, every possession. So I, I expect this to be a, a, a strong, strong second half and a great finish. You know, a lot of people would say that Perry Central was a favorite coming into this, but John Noble has had a lot of success in this role before. You know, the three times that Perry Central's not made it to the regional tournament, they were beat by John Noble when he coached Buckhorn. Yeah. The anatomy of an upset is uh, been it's written there for you. Sort of by John Noble. Leslie County basketball starting this one off. Dylan Smith gets it in the front court, hands it off to Hacker. Hacker over to Rosam. Perry Central turned them over there. They're playing every passing right now. And Woods down the lane puts it up and in. And there goes Perry Central converting off the turnover. Four point lead for the Commodores, 25 21. Hacker down the lane gets it to Rosam. He's going to. Thought he was going to drive down the lane, trying to get it back to Hacker. He does so. Being guarded by Castle, puts up a jumper, no good. Rebound, tip, controlled by Sloan of Perry Central. Here comes Trayton Woods. Woods will shake and bake on Hoskins. Backs it out behind the back, over to Sloan. Sloan down the lane, lots of contact. It's going to be on Hacker, but it's going to be before the shot. If I'm not mistaken, that's two on Jaden Hacker. Yep. Perry Central sets to throw it in underneath their own basket. Knees trying to find a person, gets it into Sloan, puts it up, no good. Rebound controlled by Whit. Here comes Hacker the Eagles. Down the lane, puts it up, and no good. Rebound fought for, controlled by Leslie County. Gage Whit with it over to Hacker on the left wing. Castle still down on the ground. That's going to be a foul on Kaiser Sloan. That's his second. The more concerning is Carter Castle still on the ground for Perry Central. And tying his shoe could be an ankle. Yeah, I think I think he I think he twisted a little, but he's going to lace it back up and stay at it. Coach Hoskins asked him if he's okay. He didn't really answer yes or no, but he's yeah, staying in. Yeah. Leslie County basketball. Tough kid. He sure is. Rosen with a kickball. Kicked by Kaiser Sloan. Used to seeing Kaiser throw it as a quarterback, not kick it. But yeah. Rosen gets it into Dylan Smith. Smith being guarded by Sumner. Down the lane, picks up a dribble, throws it away. Try to get it to Hacker and couldn't and get Perry it. Perry Central's defensive uh, intensity is really turning up a notch. Leslie County is going to take a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back after this break right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. At HydenCitizensBank.com, the bank never closes. You can check balances, transfer funds, and even pay all of your bills online. And best of all, it's free. Don't let your busy schedule keep you from getting your banking done. Do it online at HydenCitizensBank.com. And if you don't have an account, come in and see one of our friendly staff members at any of our four convenient locations. It's banking the way you want it, anytime, any place. At HydenCitizensBank.com, we're always open. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Just what the doctor ordered, 24 hours a day. One Stop Market in Stennett. Whether your car needs a fill-up or you need a fill-up, One Stop Market is just what you need. Hamburgers, hoagies, Philly cheese, steak, and pizza, plus an incredible breakfast menu. Short orders prepared around the clock. Gasoline, food, groceries, the name says it all. One Stop Market in Stennett, a Friends of Cole business. Stop in and see Amy and the crew. Your business is always sincerely appreciated. One Stop Market. Back to action here at the Nixon Center. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier. Perry Central get the basketball after the Leslie County turnover. Commodore's on top by four, 25 to 21. Tyson Neese with it. Working, picks up his dribble, gets it inside to Castle. Castle over to Sloan. Long three-pointer from the right wing, no good. Rebound controlled by Hoskins of Leslie County. Jesse Hoskins on the run. Gets it to Dylan Smith deep in the left corner. Smith back to Hoskins. Hoskins being guarded by Kaiser Sloan. Hoskins back to Smith. Smith being, we've got a wrestling match inside between Myers and Woods. Woods is going to be called for the foul. That's his first. They've got Sloan guarding the smaller Hoskins, but then that put Woods on the much taller. Yeah, that was a mismatch. 
Rosham gets it in to Myers. Tries to get it back. Now Rosham shoots a little five-footer. No good. Rebound pulled down by Hacker of Leslie County. Ball's on the ground. Fought for last touch by Leslie County. Prairie Central basketball. And that was Kaiser Sloan just out working the Leslie County uh, player. If Kaiser hadn't went to the floor, it would have been Leslie County basketball. But he he jumped in there, knocked it loose, forces a turnover, gives it back to Perry Central. 25-21. Six minutes left here in the third quarter. Carter Castle with it. Up top to Kaiser Sloan. Hands it off to Woods. Woods between the legs. Crossover. Back to Sloan. Long three-pointer left wing. It's good. Yeah. Three-point basket, Kaiser Sloan. Yeah. Sloan had, had plenty of time to set his feet on that one. 5-0 run for the Commodores to start the third quarter. Hacker over to Smith. Goes off the screen. Gets it to Rosen. Rosen with it on the, on the bounce. Tries to get it back. Now does get it back to Dylan Smith. Leslie County calling out play number one. Smith being guarded by Sumner. Goes to make a move, loses the ball, picks up his dribble. Nowhere to go. Ball gets inside. That's Rosen. Puts a shot up and in. Nice take by Trent Rosen. Here come the Commodores in a hurry. Sloan to Woods. Over to Nice. Right corner to Sumner. It's first basket for Leslie County this half. Kaiser Sloan, open lane, drives, puts it up and in, and a foul yeah. is going to be on Hacker. It's going to be three on Hacker. The basket's good for Sloan, and he'll go to the free throw line. Sloan just saw that gap. You could see him. Uh, he saw that gap and just, and just turned it on. Hacker came over to draw the charge as number five Tyler Robinson comes in for Carter Castle. But the, I think Hacker was a little too deep. I think he was underneath the rim. Yeah, yeah, he was. And there's no – I know in high school basketball there's no invisible circle. There's no, you know, the, the, the circle that you have in college. But still – But ordinarily uh, you're not going to get yeah. that call by the officials if you're that deep under. Kaiser Sloan at the free throw line up on its way and in. Gives Perry Central an eight-point lead, 31-23. to 23. Here comes Leslie County. Hacker down the lane. He falls, but he's going to be tripped. It's going to be on Woods. That's his second. Perry Central had, had the ball handler out of control there and bailed him out by fouling him, actually. Number 30, Nate Lewis. Checking in for Leslie County. Replaces Trent Rosen. The Leslie County basketball underneath their own basket. Gets it in to Myers. Tries to get it inside to Hacker. Ball is tipped around. Gets it to Hoskins into the left corner. Trapped by Woods and Nice. Gets it up to Smith. Smith down the right lane. Back it in. Can't find anywhere to go with it. Gets it inside to Lewis. Lewis puts the shot up. No good. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Lewis of Leslie County. Smart move. John Noble brought Lewis in to try to set a screen. He's one of his more physical players. Good defense yeah, by Coach Noble. He's, I think he's used about everybody on his bench. He's trying to get a towel. A lot of perspiration. Good crowd on hand. It's warm in here in the Nixon Center. And I think when they open these doors, I feel a cool breeze. But other, otherwise, I would probably say I was a little warm. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little warm. 4.28 left in the third quarter. Perry Central on top, 31 to 23. Doing a little housekeeping, get some perspiration dried up. That'll be Perry County basketball when everything's said and done. Perry Central has, has held Leslie County to two points this quarter, and it's just been real, really, really intense man to man defense. Perry Central, an 8 to 2 run. Here in the third quarter. To get a little more in control. It's yeah. not, not an insurmountable lead by Leslie County by any stretch of the imagination. Nice with it. Over to Sloan. Sumner in the right corner. And right they are to just it. face guarding Woods on every play now. Nice, a nice pass to Sloan. Couldn't get it to go and then commits the foul. 
It's a great pass by Tyson Neese. Kaiser Sloan couldn't get it to go and then commits the foul. That's his third. That's three on Sloan. Castle coming back into the game. So Perry Central's two big men, Carter Castle and Kaiser Sloan. And a little bit of foul trouble now. Tyler Robinson comes right back in. I really don't know if he should be allowed to come in because he came in for he came out with he, Castle. Yeah, came he, in. he hadn't been out one play. He didn't play a possession. I don't think anybody noticed it. That's <laughs> why so we get paid the big bucks over here. Get it into Hacker. <laughs> yeah. Hacker to Smith. Deep in the left corner. Smith being guarded by Sumner. Perry Central still in that pressing man-to-man. Smith picked up his dribble. Nowhere to go. Now gets it to Vanskoy. Ball's tipped. Deflected. Vanskoy with it. Tries to get it in the corner to Hoskins. Throws it away. Another turnover for Leslie County. Yeah, you can tell Leslie County's feeling the pressure now. That defense is, is starting to affect them. Perry Central sat in pretty good position, not going for the steals. But yeah. that time they went for the steal. Leslie County had numbers. Should have had a good look. Just couldn't yeah. deliver. Robinson with it over to Sumner. Robinson, he'll try a long three. No good. Rebound pulled down by Jesse Hoskins. Here come the Eagles. Hoskins ball just taken away by Woods. Woods. Down, pulls up 10-footer. Basket's good. Trading Woods. That was a real calculated play. Woods saw where the defense was going to go, and he yeah. just went as far as they could. It's going to be a foul on Perry Central's Tyler Robinson. The Leslie County basketball, Sumner and Nice go out. Bacon and Miller come in. That's going to be five team fouls on Perry Central. So, three minutes and 16 seconds, Coach. Leslie County yeah, going to shoot some free throws. That's going to be an advantage, too. Ten-point lead for the Commodores. 30 Jaden Hacker right now. He looks a little gassed. 33-23 to 23 is the lead for the Commodores as – Myers to the line for the Eagles missed the first one. But he'll have another. Second one on the way for Myers. It's in. 33-24, nine point. Perry Central lead, three minutes, 10 seconds left here in the first, third quarter, excuse me. Bo Bacon with it to Landon Miller. Over to Woods, Woods to Bacon. To Robinson, trying to get it inside to Castle. That's going to be a foul on Myers. See, you can tell Carter Castle is is getting down to business in that post area now. It was worried. He went down with an injury. Woods with a little jump stop gets it in the paint, puts it up, no good. Rebound, but Castle he puts it back up and in. Carter Castle making his presence known. Perry Central still that man to man press. Leslie County has an advantage. Hacker with it down the lane. Puts it up. No good. He's going to be fouled by Bo Bacon. And Woods got drilled on a screen down here. And Coach Hoskins and the entire Perry Central coaching staff looking for the foul on that. And uh, the officials like, no dice. He just ran into it. And, and that screen is the only way that screen's illegal is if you extend those arms or you dip yeah. that shoulder. Yeah, uh, uh, the defender just ran into it. Jaden Hacker was just fouled going to the basket. He's had to run over and get the mop to drive some perspiration. Little do it all everything night for Hacker. Yeah, he's uh, he's helping out the officials, doing a little cleanup work, and going to the foul line to shoot too. 239 left here in the third quarter. If Hacker can convert both of these, we get the lead back to under 10. First one on its way from Hacker. In and out, no good. 35-24, 239 left here in the third quarter. Hacker with one more. Second one on its way up, and it goes in. 35-25. 235 left in the fourth. Miller. With it, gets it across the timeline to Robinson. Back up top to Bacon. Thought about the three. Gets it to Woods on a backdoor cut. Good. That was a great catch by Woods. Almost yeah. let him out of bounds. He rescued a bad pass. He's fouled by Dylan Smith. That's that's four team fouls. So the next foul on Leslie County 
Perry Central will shoot two. Quiet Castle gets it in. Bacon with a little floater down the lane. Can't get it to go. Rebounded by Smith of Leslie County. And they're going to get Castle on that one. It's going to be his third. And that's not that's not the kind of foul that uh, Perry Central wants on their big guy. No, that's you're right. Carter Castle, you want him to pick up fouls in and around the basket, and he was about 70 feet from the basket there. Yeah, you don't want that one. Does send Dylan Smith to the line. Gets the first one to go. Smith averaging 4.7 points a game this year. I believe that's his first point of the night. Looking to make it two. Second on its way and good. 35-27, eight-point Commodore lead. Leslie getting back into this one at the free throw line, Coach. Yeah, they are, and we, we felt like that'd be a factor. Woods back to Miller. Miller to Trayton Woods. Down the lane, puts up the runner, no good. Here comes Leslie County. Drove into a lot of traffic there. Myers with it to Hacker. Thought about the three. Takes it down the lane, puts it up and in. Nice finish by Hacker. We got an official timeout for some perspiration on the floor again. Jeff, I can't help but believe that, that uh, like you said, I think they've opened the doors down there and you got so much humidity. I think it's building up on the floor. I think it's getting on the floor down there and and, uh, and some moisture's gonna, they're gonna have a hard time keeping it cleaned up. Maybe right, Coach. 145 left in the third quarter. Perry Central up by six, 35-29. Leslie County on a little 6-0 run. Castle puts it up, no good. Five for the rebound. Ball tipped and controlled by Carter Castle. And he's gonna be fouled by Dylan Smith. And that's gonna send Carter Castle to the line for two. So the foul on Smith, that's so the band is playing during free throws, making the distraction. That's a that's a no no. No yep, noise That's maker. a no no. First free throw from Castle's good. I and mean, I think it's one of those things that you, you get used to it outside at football games. It's not really a big deal on a football field. Right, but it is in a gym. Second free throw is good from Carter Castle as well. Two Tom- big free throws for, for Castle there. 37-29 is the lead for the Commodores. Leslie trying to get it in, get it into Vance Coy. Picks up his dribble. Nowhere to go with it. Denying the basketball. Gets it back to Myers. Here comes Myers down the lane. Three-pointer by Hoskins in the right corner. No good. Rebound last touched by the Commodores. It'll be Leslie County basketball. Here comes number 30 back in. He's going to set a screen. Nate Lewis. <laughs> three-pointer was no good by Hoskins. He's a 33-point percent three-point <laughs> shooter on the year. Leslie County can't get in another five-second Five-second count. Second call. That's two of those tonight. Curry Central is so active right now defensively. They are really, they are really, really putting pressure on the on, on Leslie County. Van Scoy tried to check back in for Lewis, and they wouldn't let him because there wasn't an offensive play. Right. Perry Central got away with that earlier. Yeah. Perry Central basketball. Miller over to Bacon, inside to Castle, and he's going to be fouled by Lewis. They'll send Castle back to the line for two more. I'm actually surprised Bacon wasn't looking for that three right there because he had some room and, and had a good look at it. He did. He, right here in front of us. I thought he was going to dial it a, up. He's a heck of a shooter. First free throw from Castle is good. Now Vance Coy's coming back in to replace Lewis. Second free throw from Castle. He eyes it, he buys it. It's good as well. 10 point lead by Perry Central, 109. Left here in quarter number three. Full court, full court press from the Commodores. Hacker trying to find somebody to get it into. Gets it into Smith. Smith being guarded by Miller. Miller guarding Smith. Smith gets it across the timeline to Vanscoy. Vanscoy 
No double dribble. They don't really call that anymore. It used to be they no. called that all the time. Now, I'm surprised if they do call it, to be honest. Yeah. Dylan Smith with it. Flex offense from the Eagles. Smith over to Hacker. Hacker, long three from the right wing. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Myers of Leslie County. Makes a move on Sloan. Puts it up off the glass and in. Nice offensive rebound and put back by Ty Myers. Yeah, it was. That was a big shot. They needed that one really bad. Senior forward for the Eagles really making his presence known in their woods with it. 24 seconds. Commodores on top by eight, 39-31. Will be Perry Central basketball to start the fourth quarter, so Coach Hoskins going to be content to go for the They're last shot. Go to Woods and try to make him give it up, and they couldn't get it out of his hand. Got his offensive rebound, put it back in. Hacker's going to go. He's going to have time. 2-1. Hacker going to pull at the buzzer. No good. 41-31 is your score as we – Go to the fourth quarter in what's been an absolutely fantastic basketball game. We'll be back after this short break right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy of Hyden is your one-stop community health care destination. When you visit their store, you receive the personalized service you deserve with the convenience you need. They offer in-store immunizations, wellness screenings, and medication consultations. Their new mobile medication refill app makes filling your family's prescriptions easier than ever. They even offer limited delivery services. It's all right here for you at the Medicine Shop Pharmacy on Main Street in Hyden, 606-672-8705. Thinking of buying a home? Maybe you're a little anxious about taking that first step. Maybe you want to sell your current home, but you just don't know where to start. Drop the anxiety. Why not get help from someone who happens to know the housing market better than anyone in our area? Someone who has already helped many first-time buyers as well as long-time homeowners. Michelle Jones, your local REMAX realtor. Michelle is ranked in the nation's top agents and serves your area. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a home, the right agent can lead the way. Michelle Jones, REMAX. Call 233-4185. Welcome back once again, folks, to Leslie County High School here at the Nixon Center. Just a phenomenal job, and we've been mentioning it all week that the folks here at Leslie County are doing uh, hosting this tournament. Big crowd on hand tonight uh, to see two good boys games. Yeah, absolutely. It's been been a, been a good show so far. Be Perry Central basketball to start the fourth quarter. Commodores join a ten point lead, forty one to thirty one. Landon Miller. With the ball for the Commodores, gets it over to Bo Bacon down inside Carter Castle. Just puts it up and in. Nice play coming out of the break. That was by the Commodores. That was that was a set play, and they really executed it. And Landon Miller nearly nearly steals it from Dylan Smith. Get it inside to Rosham. He's going against Castle. Castle got to stay down and not foul. Nice move by Rosham to put it up and in. Forty-three thirty-three. Kaiser Sloan with it, drives down the lane, pulls up 10-footer, no good. Rebound controlled by Hoskins of Leslie County. Leslie County scores here. They'll be feeling pretty good about things. Down 10. Hoskins throws it away. Stolen by Landa Miller, puts it up and in. Nice, nice move steal by and put back by the freshman. Here comes Miller. He called for the body this time. It's going to be for Miller. That's going to be his second. He fouled Dylan Smith. But if you're Perry Center here, Coach, you don't want to pick up five team fouls. No. And let Leslie County you, score the free foul. You want to force them to go deep into the quarter uh, before they go to that foul line. And sort of conversely, if you're Leslie County, you can be a little more aggressive in case you have to start fouling later on. Yeah. Leslie County basketball. Dylan Smith with it. Being guarded by Landon Miller. Perry Central still in this man-to-man. Miller on Smith. Good job by Bacon. Not letting Hacker catch the ball. Gets it inside to Ty Myers. Making a move on Sloan. Spin move. Puts it up. And no good. Rebound by Kaiser Sloan. Sloan has it over to Woods. Perry Central looking to run. Woods in the corner. Miller. Miller trying to get it inside to Castle. Does so. Carter Castle puts it up and in. John Noble who's going to call a timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back after this break right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. 
Looking for fast, easy, and secure electronic banking? Community Trust Bank has a wide variety of banking services to meet your needs, including internet banking, bill pay, and mobile banking. We now have even more great services like Apple Pay and Google Pay. Make payments directly from your smartphone. And Zelle, a fast, easy, secure way to send and receive money from your smartphone. Visit us on the internet at ctbi.com or stop by and see us at one of our 79 branch offices. Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Make plans now to attend the biggest event in East Kentucky, the 29th Annual Save-A-Lot Race Day. Saturday, April 6th, 12 to 4 p.m. in the Perry County Central High School parking lot. Admission is free. Games, prizes, music, food, and of course, dirt cars, rat rods, carts, drag cars, classic cars, show cars, motorcycles, anything welcome. Come see all your favorite local race cars and drivers. Bring the kids for some great pictures. Enjoy the cookout and benefit auction with hundreds of items to be auctioned. Welcome back once again, folks, to Leslie County High School to Nixon Recreation Center. Jeff Campbell, Coach Randy Napier. Coach, I, I feel my voice is going. It's, it's so loud in here. and We've had two great games, and we've had to, to talk really loud. And uh, six minutes and 27 seconds left in this one of just what's been a fantastic ball game. Yeah, it has. You know, tournament atmosphere, Jeff's everything. It, it's This is fun. Perry County Central still picking up the full court press. Leslie County. Basketball. Hoskins has it. Being guarded by Woods. Hoskins working on Woods. Trying to get it to Hacker. Good job keeping it away from Hacker. Dylan Smith has it now. Down the right lane. Cut off by Miller. Leans up and in with a shot. Nice take. Nice finish by Dylan Smith. Seniors for Leslie County coming up big. You got a basket there by Smith and one by Myers. Trying to keep Leslie County in this thing. Perry Central basketball. Sloan gets it into Castle, and he's going to be called. He was pushed, so the foul is going to be on Ty Myers. So he was guilty. A little bit of a late call, but I think it was the right call. Perry Central basketball underneath their own bucket. Miller looking, looking, looking. Gets it in to Woods. Woods down the lane. (laughs) Tried to pass it out there. Cannot do it. Last touch by Woods. Turnover is going to be Leslie County basketball. Forty-seven thirty-five. Five minutes forty-eight seconds left in the ball game. Hacker, almost another five-second call. Gets it in to Myers. Myers being guarded by Sloan. Lots of pressure from Sloan. Myers down the lane. Gets it over to Osborne. Puts it up and in. That time the press sort of got it burned Perry Central. They gave up an easy look underneath. Yeah. Leslie County's not going away. Landa Miller with it. Gets it inside to Castle. Back to Miller. Over to Woods. Bacon in the left corner. Inside to Sloan. Over to Castle. Puts it up and in. Nice teamwork. Sloan and Castle working well together. Absolutely. That was. Myers with it. Being guarded by Sloan. Sloan being called for the foul. That's going to be four. On Kaiser Sloan. Bacon and Miller coming out, giving the Commodore some good minutes. And now it'll be the starters back in for the Commodores. Leslie County basketball. Down 12, 49-37. Five minutes left in the ball game. Hacker with it. Hits Myers on the pick and roll, trying to get it to Smith. Ball was last touch, knocked out of bounds by the Commodores. And you got to think, Leslie County, uh, they're bringing they're bringing uh, Lewis back in to set another screen. Lewis right Jeff. here, he's trying to set yeah. a screen and seal. He's yeah, it would have worked the first time. He's trying to get Hacker out here. Good job by Perry Central recognizing it. Hacker backing down, knees puts a shot up, no good. Rebound can't be controlled by the Commodores. Knocked out of bounds. The last touch by Sloan. So Leslie County will throw it in. Not really under their own basket. Sort of more deep in the corner. Yeah. Tough place to throw it in from. Hoskins, and there's the illegal screen on Lewis. He probably got away, probably got away with it at least one time. But. Yeah, I, I think uh, think the official uh, was, was kind of making sure on that one, and, and he caught him in the act. 
Basketball belongs to the Commodores now. On top by 12, 49-37. Sumner with it on the right wing. Over to Sloan, really trying to get it inside to Castle. Being defended in there very well by Osborne. Now Myers, Sumner on the drive. Can't get it to go, gets his own rebound. Puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound control by Osborne of Leslie County. Two good looks by the Commodores. Here come the Eagles. Long three up to Osborne. He thought about the three, tried to get it inside. Gets it over to Dylan Smith. Being guarded by Sloan. Goes around Sloan, puts it up and in. Yeah, he knew, he knew Sloan was going to have to have to back away with those four fouls, so he just went right at him. Tyler Robinson coming to the scorer's table. Sets a check in for Perry Central. Kaiser Sloan with it. Working on the dribble. Goes down the lane. Spin move. Gets it to Nice in the corner. Back up top to Woods. Reverses the ground to Sumner. Sumner trying to get it inside the castle. Good job by Leslie County to keep it out of there. Woods over to Sumner. Left corner, high post. Kaiser Sloan, 12-footer's good. Good ball movement there by the Commodores. Dylan Smith with it now for Leslie County. 51-39, Commodores on top. 3.30 left in the ball game. Picked up his dribble. Tried to get it inside, now does to Osborne at the elbow. Over to Myers, down the lane, ball's on the floor, gets it over to Osborne, picks it up, puts it up, no good, rebound. Was going to be controlled by Kaiser Sloan, but he was fouled by Ty Myers. Myers went over the back, so Trent Rosham checking in for Leslie County and Gage Witt also for the Eagles, and now Leslie County going to dial up a little full court pressure here, Coach. Yeah, they're going all out. Looks like they're going all out uh, uh, zone press now. Perry Central breaks the press, gets it up top to Tyson Neese. Over to Woods. Woods to Kaiser Sloan. Clock winds under three minutes. Perry Central still on top, 51-39. Carter Castle in the paint. Over, Kaiser Sloan, long three, left wing, good. Kaiser Sloan, the senior, two big buckets, five in a row for him. Here goes Hacker, down the lane, puts the runner up, and it's in. Nice finish there by Hacker. Castle with it over to Nice. Nice breaks through traffic, gets it back to Sloan. 54 41, two and a half minutes left. Hoskins trying to foul and does so. Yeah. Fouls Nice. And that's going to be the fourth team foul on the Eagles, the second on Hoskins. So the next foul from Leslie County coach will put uh, Perry Central in a double bonus. Yeah. Neese throwing it in right in front of his own bench, being instructed by Dame Tobler. Here comes, gets it in the woods. Here comes the full court press, gets it over to Sumner. Sumner goes around Hacker, bounce pass down low. Castle puts it up and in. Carter Castle just gets in position. Leslie County basketball, Rojum with it, working on Castle, trying to get it inside to Witt. Ball was deflected out of bounds, last touch by Castle. Leslie County basketball, Ty Myers checking back in for Trent Rojum. Leslie County gets it into Hoskins, over to Smith. Trying to get it to Hacker, maybe down inside to Witt. Smith over to Myers. Myers waiting on a screen from Witt. Long three from Ty Myers, no good. Rebound pulled down by Trayton Woods. He's going to be fouled. High for that one. He's going to be fouled by number 11, Jesse Hoskins. That's his third. And Leslie County's going to take a timeout. I believe it's their last one. We'll take it with them. We'll be back so. to finish this one up right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. Since 1919, Mine Service Company has been servicing the coal mining industry with quality general mine supplies. Mine Service Company offers a wide range of products, including electrical cable, mine roof support material, lubricants, conveyor belts, and structure, drain pipe, underground miner cap lights. They even have muck and Matterhorn boots and a wide selection of knee pads. Mine Service, locally owned on Highway 15 just south of Hazard, also with a branch on Business 23 in Wise, Virginia. Celebrating over 100 years in the mining industry, Mine Service Company. Welcome back, folks. One minute, 47 seconds left here in the ballgame. Perry Central up by 15, 56 to 41. Jeff Campbell, Randy Napier bringing you all the action tonight. And, uh, Coach, 
That's been a fantastic ball game. Wesley County's got it no quit been. in them. Yeah, they fought. Uh, they fought uh, with every ounce of energy they had, and uh, Perry Central uh, just they they weathered a couple of storms, and now they're they're pulling away. So before the break, there's a foul on Leslie County. It will send number 11, Trayton Woods, to the line. He will have two shots from here on out. Perry Central will shoot two fouls, two free throws every time they're fouled. The first free throw from Woods is good. Second free throw, Trayton Woods, good as well. Here comes Leslie County Hacker with it. One minute, 45 seconds left. Being guarded by Tyson Neese. Goes around Castle, gets it in the corner. Three-pointer is up and in. Didn't see who that was. Bronson Myers. Bronson Myers checked in at the break, made his presence felt quickly. Castle with it over to Sloan. And Sloan's going to be fouled and will go to the line for two free throws. That's what Leslie County's going to have to do. They're going to have to make some three-pointers. And then hope for some uh, some Perry Central misses at the foul line. Right. 126 in the game. Commodore's on top by 14, 58-44. Kaiser Sloan at the line. First one on his way. No good. Hard off the back of the rim. But he'll have another. Sloan's second free throw is good. Leslie County brings it in down 15. Here comes Myers. Ball was tipped away by Castle. Stolen. Carter Castle puts it up and in and the foul. Nice move by Castle. It was. That's the thing about Castle. He's he's one of these guys. He was a, he was a guard growing up, too. He's got real quick hands. He does. He uh, has really good hands. Picked the pocket there and was able to use his body and finish and Makes the free throw. Gets Perry Central on top, 62 to 44. One minute, 20 seconds left. Looks like it's going to be an all Perry County final on Thursday, Coach, as the Commodores just one minute, 20 seconds away from moving forward to face Hazard for another 54th district championship. I think so, yeah. Should be a good one. Dylan Smith with it. Breaks the press, gets it across the timeline, down the lane, puts the runner up, no good. Rebound by Castle. Long pass up ahead to Woods. Coach Hoskins telling him to back it out. Back to Nice. Nice is going to be fouled by Witt. That's going to be his third. Tyson Nice will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Uh, first free throw from Nice is no good. I'll get it for you guys. Since you had trouble. Second one from Nice is good. Number 21, Tyler Smith coming to the table, getting ready to check in. Along with Derek Fields for Perry Central. Smith over to Whit. Whit down the lane, puts up the layup, no good. Rebound by who else? Carter Castle. Gets it over to Woods. Woods on the bounce. Backs it out. Now gets it to Nice. Nice fouled by Witt. Tyson Nice back to the line for two more. For the Commodores, I've already mentioned Smith and Fields. It's going to be Riley White. It's going to be Cody Gay. And Tate Watts. Getting set to check in for the Commodores. For Leslie County, Caden Bell. Matt Lewis, Xavier Roark. A lot of new faces in on both sides now. Landon Hensley and Brody Collett. Second free throw from Nice is good. Now Riley White checking in for him. That puts the score 65-44. 35 seconds left in the ball game. Lewis with it over in the corner. Now back to Lewis. Number 13, Hensley calling for it. Fires a three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Riley White of the Commodores. Here he comes on the dribble. White takes it behind his back, gets it to Watts. 
Watts over to Fields. Fields to Gay. Up top, Tyler Smith. Smith over to Riley White. Cody Gay deep in the left corner. Clock winds under 10. I don't think Perry Central is going to take a shot. This one should finish with your final. Commodore 65, Leslie County 44. And that's what it'll be as the Perry Central Commodores will advance to face the Hazard Bulldogs on Thursday night in the boys' 54th district championship. Our player of the game tonight, the East Kentucky Sports Network player of the game. Once again, this is sponsored by Sports Connection right here in Hyden, Kentucky. It's going to be Perry County Central senior forward, Carter Castle. Carter had 24 points, seven rebounds. Yeah, just a phenomenal night by Castle. He went down with an, an apparent ankle injury and, uh, you know, came back from that and played really Got well. Back up, shook it off down uh, the stretch, down yeah, the stretch sure there did. and played tough down uh, in the last, at, at the second half. Hey, Carter. Hey, 24, hey. I think it's 24 points, yeah. eight rebounds. Uh, and, and and you had to fight back from a little bit of an injury there, but yeah. you showed your 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 toughness again tonight. Congratulations on the job well done, buddy. You're Thank a player you. of the game. Thank you. All right, man. You looking forward to uh, Thursday night now? You going to the championship? Yeah. I think it'll be a good game. Yeah. Should be a dandy. Two old friends getting out, getting after it again yeah. for the third time this year. Yeah. And uh, we'll wish you the best of luck, buddy. Get Thank you some rest. Take care of that foot. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Well, once again, Carter Castle, your player of the game. Just a phenomenal effort by him to uh, help his team, the Perry Central Commodores, advance to Thursday night's championship game in the boys' 54th district tournament. We do want to remind everybody that tomorrow night at 7 o'clock is our girls' championship game. Uh, me and John Newell. We'll have the call on that one as Perry County Central and Hazard will face one another for the girls 54th District Championship. And then those same two teams will meet once again on Thursday night at 7 o'clock for the boys 54th District Championship. The regional tournament draw will be held on Friday uh, in Wolf County. Uh, the boys tournament's being hosted at Powell County High School. The girls at Estill County. So we'll have all that, uh, the brackets and everything for you. Uh, right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. But we really want to appreciate everybody for tuning us in, all of our sponsors, uh, all of their, everybody watching at home, uh, Mike, Robbie, Greg, for running the controls and the cameras. Here tonight, I want to thank my broadcast partner tonight, Coach Randy Napier. It's always a pleasure. Uh, looking forward to next week in the regional tournament and then uh, doing this thing at the state tournament in a couple weeks. Yeah, absolutely. This is, uh, you know, like we've mentioned a couple times, this is fun times. Tournament time is what you're waiting for all year long. And it, everybody gets a little more excited, and it's just it, – and the, and the intensity level rises. So it's fun to watch. Should be two good ones here on, to, on Wednesday and Thursday night. Make sure you keep tuning us in. Until then, we'll see you next time right here on the East Kentucky Sports Network. <laughs>